that up on the screen. Chat overlay. Looking for some numbers. How was uh how was your day other than the live stream? Okay. Good. Yeah, I mean, we had a big rainstorm come through yesterday and again this morning. Then I spent my morning waiting on the cable guy to do this install. Cable guy. Cable but, guy. Uh, and watching watching the markets melt down, getting distracted. I missed that huge uh, low float IPO. Did you see that at the end of the day? Yes. I caught the very end of it. You know, know, people, what's up, guys? Welcome. People always ask me, Tony, what do you think about the next IPO? What about this next one? I say, Mama always said IPOs were like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're going to get. <laughs> That's right. One day you're going to get right. a. One day you're going to get a chocolate full of shit, and one day you're going to get one full of gold <laughs> cream filling. Yep. A big old, a big old, you know it, you know it. The vineyard said, oh, Billy, for cable guy. Oh, Billy. We're trying to save Billy. Tendy time, how you doing tonight? How you doing tonight? What's going on, my friend? Let's say hi to some people in the chat tonight. We got Stephen Vincent. Good evening, the vineyards. Derek A, Backyard Boogie, J-Dubs, Michael One, Karen C, Paul, Multiclode. Hammer, Demainer, Christian Princess, Billy Billy, Stephen Vincent, Susan Harbor, Manoma says Bonsoir from Quebec. Bonsoir. D, how you doing tonight? Bonsoir. Bonsoir. <laughs> Mark Jones, Stephen Bernhardt. You can see where I am, T. Doc Zeno. Uh, yeah, I was just popping out my chat. Jack Zeno, Mario, Grandpa Barney, Tally Foreman, Dan Spencer. What's going on? Carlos. Peace, love, zip, zap, zip, tat. Eric in the house. Glad you made it. Eric, Duke of Wall Street. Ms. Eve, Captain Ken. Jimmy Jones, Trish, Jermaine. And uh, welcome to all the lurkers, haters, and trolls, too. We love you guys also. Wouldn't be the <laughs> same without you. Much love to all you guys. Grandpa Barney, Mario, Anthony, Eric Bissell. Humble heart, the mind, zip that. Okay, we got that tally foreman. We're caught up now. JB, Adrian Fernandez, how you doing tonight, my friend? Natalie Porter, good evening, good evening, good evening. Annie T, how you doing? DC, LA, we got uh, 300 right now in the chat. Man. All right. I, I hope you guys are popping a drink with us. This is a relaxed evening chat. We're here to have a little bit of fun, maybe talk a little bit of work stuff. I'm trying a new beer tonight. A, do we have to is, you don't have to but okay. uh <laughs> i'm drinking a scotch style ale anybody tried dirty bastard before no Not it looks bad. tasty though it is very tasty it looks good it looks good uh let's see amc lady susan harbor good evening shadow girl grandpa barney how you doing tonight don't forget the truth dino mike dips patel mangaku wendy d can it be and common sense investor says I don't drink. Ro, good evening tonight. Stephen Vincent, Daryl Hicks, and Ape Cartel and Jenna. Who's Kringle Kitty? She says Jenna. Oh my goodness. Kringle Kitten. <laughs> Kringle Kitten's been missing for a while. Hey, Tindy Time, congratulations, buddy. Tindy Time says the baby was born at 10 15 a.m. this morning. Shut up. Hey. Congrats to you and the missus, awesome. my man. You share a birthday with the uh, uh, with the Massalorian. All right, that sounds good. <clears throat> nice, Tendy. Congrats, man. That's awesome. That is awesome. Manjeet, good evening. Steve, Forks, David, Soul Seeker, G Immortal, Richard Millsap, Terry Williams, Mike Millspa, Musky Doge, Silver Surfer, Spock here. Man, we got a lot of people in the chat tonight. J Dubs, congratulations, Tendy. Yeah, that's big. Big stuff, big stuff. Dino Mike says, who's the daddy? Come on, Dino Mike, really? <laughs> That's how we're going to start off tonight? You know? Yeah. Can't cut the guy a break. I would expect that if it was me saying we just had a baby, but titty <laughs> time. Come on, go, go easy on the fella. I know, seriously, Man. seriously. <clears throat> Adrian says, I came here to drink beer and cue the speeder. That sounds good. What's the new plans for AMC? We need a new plan. I think we just stick to the plan that we have been going on. 
The New plan, same better. as the old plan. No. <laughs> That's right, same as the old plan. <laughs> but we'll talk about it tonight. Don't worry, don't worry. We're going to get into it. We're going to get into it. San Diego in the house. Robert Romo, good evening. Soul Seeker, we said hey to Jenner. Rubber Ducky, Spock here. Edwin Romero, good evening. CSI, you're not on the wagon, are you? <clears throat> Thank you very much for all the kind wishes. Appreciate it, guys. Thank you. Um, with these new requirements, Mason. All right, so we're going to talk about that, Mason. We're going to get to it. Don't worry. Don't worry. We're going to get to it. Uh, I know we put that in the title, so we <clears> promise. <throat> we will We will attempt to do our best, right? We'll just do our best. That's all we can give I, you guys. I, I want to start out this live stream just by kind of like the same way that I finished my afternoon live stream today, just reminding everybody to keep a Zen frame of mind and a still heart as much as you can. We uh, obviously are in a bear market and we could be in one for you know, some coming time, uh, maybe till the elections, maybe all the way through 2023. So the sooner you just accept that, and accept that your portfolio might be red. And, you know, we will help you look for some other opportunities with your side money to make money if you want to. It's not a requirement. I know some people get mad at me uh, because I'm trying to make money in some other plays, but hey, uh, who wants to sit there and watch a line go flat all day for two years? Uh, I'd like to make some money along the way. So I'm going to do that. And uh, in the meantime, the rest of my portfolio, my other long-term investments, of course, they're red, just like yours. So uh, it's it's not the first time and it's not the last time in your investing career that there will be a bear market. It might be the first time, but it won't be the last. So you just got to, uh, you, you got to muddle through it. I mean, not every day in the stock market, it's a green day. So no, no one's panicking yep. over here. This is, we've been talking about this exact week, you know, this exact scenario for some time coming nothing's changed i don't worry about stocks going down they might go down a lot more it's not going to change my my day or my outlook or my demeanor or make me upset or make me sad uh if if i have a day like that i just don't turn on the stock screen you know or the tv go do something productive yep. with your life yeah so that's Absolutely. my uh, my moment of zen for you okay Sounds good. To the mats out there, I see people asking about phase six, what's going to happen tomorrow. I, we're going to get into that, guys. Don't worry. Don't worry. We're just kind of doing some uh, hellos, and Tony was just giving his opinion on the market going forward, and I'll say the same thing, right, Tony? We're going to probably be looking at a bear market for a little bit. Now, will we see another little bull run like we just saw? Very possible, right? Absolutely. Um, that we might see that leading up to the midterms, but it could be a while before we see a run again like we did mid-2021. That was unprecedented. <laughs> so, yeah, if you just if you got in the market in 2021, just know that you got in at the high. Like that's like jumping on a roller coaster as it's at the top of the peak, about yeah. to about to get you on the funnest part of the ride. Well, yep. now you're at the end of the ride and we got to wait a while for it to cycle back for the fun part. Yep. Absolutely. Absolutely. Tony, you're getting a lot of compliments about your shirt. Oh, thank a lot you. Of compliments in chat. Yep. I got a new hat too, by the way. Yes. I like that. <laughs> whiskey. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. I like it. I like it. George says I'm holding till hell freezes over right on, right on um only thing green for me is ape says the vineyards uh did those synthetics just go poof we're gonna find out uh christian princess says so glad you guys are here with man this is going fast the chat's going fast thank you guys for all the wishes appreciate it surely thank you um shoot man i went by, that went by fast did you Smoking put your chat my... <laughs> did you put What's your that? chat on 60 seconds I put it on 30, I think. Ah, uh, okay. It's supposed I to be on 60 on, or 30. Well, I mean, it's up to you. It depends on how fast you want to try and read. Ah. Uh, I have mine uh, on 60. I, I probably should change that. But I'm afraid now if I go in there, it will lag and I'll go yeah. uh, all predator. Go on easy everyone. on Massalorian, guys. Yeah, <laughs> go easy on me. <laughs> I'm an old man today. 
everyone's saying not fatigued. No one's fatigued. No one's fatigued. Maybe Tony know, a little bit. I, I know some people are. I mean, I see it. I see it in the comments. But uh, I know many of you are not. I was just reaching out to the people who are feeling a little bit stressed. It's okay. You'll be okay. Let's just turn the light on again. Man, this thing's getting getting riled up. Uh, been holding going on two years, says Adrian. Right on, Adrian. Yeah, well, I'm going on like 19 months. I just realized. Or 18 months. 19, 19 months. Uh, just scroll backwards to slow down and read this Christian princess. You know how fast this is going, Christian princess? You have no idea. No idea. The craziness. Eric Bissell, good evening. Eric says, Tony, a mass serious question. I doubt it. Let's see. <laughs> we're, gonna, we're gonna check. We're gonna, we're gonna check this serious question that you have. Uh, if I can read it, Tony and Mass. If hang on, if AMC, it, let's say AA and AMC dilute Ape once it goes to say two dollars, wouldn't that pay off their debt completely and give them money? Wouldn't AMC fly up, Eric? Yeah, in in. In uh, on paper, you would assume that not that not that would $2. crush the shorts. Not, not two dollars, maybe. <laughs> yeah, that might. Be I a think we high. we had said around ten or eleven dollars would be enough to pay off five billion in debt. So we need ape at about eleven bucks. Good point. Good point. Miss Gloria, thank you very much. <laughs> I appreciate that. I did. I'm turning twenty one today. <laughs> George says uh, TD is two and a half thousand subscribers short from buying what what do you need a second chair time is going fast <laughs> all right we gotta get tony we'll get tony on that two and a half subscribers to 20k let's get him there right the sooner the thing, better uh, the next thing i'm buying is two more monitors to make the stream better so i can have and so i don't miss plays like i've got eight tabs on this one monitor where i'm trying to watch all these stocks so scarlet was the other day why do you need two more monitors i'm like uh because we're missing plays because they're on hidden tabs. But if we have yep. two more monitors, I can keep my eyeballs on things. And yeah, I missed, I missed that damn run up in that stock today. Cause I was live streaming. I didn't have it up. My, my screener, uh, I guess the parameters, whatever parameters I have set for low float stocks didn't pick it up. So I need to go figure that out tonight. Uh, what a, what a, a shame. I definitely would have played that at the end of the day if it would have popped up. I was sitting right. here watching. I had right before I went live, I added all the the hot plays of the day from my screener into my one of my tabs, but that was not on there. So that's probably my fault. Yeah. Yep. I uh, uh I, I'm trying right now to really pick between what I necessarily need and what I don't need just because I put so much money into making this living room into a bedroom. Like I didn't realize how much it was going to cost to really put this petition wall up and all the extra things that had to go into it. And now I'm looking at like, all right, now I got to be really careful about the purchases I make going forward. They really have to make a big improvement to the channel for me to be spending the money on it. Right. Yep. It's just money. I don't want to take out right now, especially when my portfolio was down. If anybody, you know. I'm just curious if anybody in the chat and mass mass Lorian chat or mine has more than four monitors and not uh, an Apple computer, let me know. Mm. Uh, I was looking like my graphics card has four ports on it. And I, I guess, you know, I don't know if I want to put two graphics cards in to get six monitors. So I might just limit myself to four. Uh, I guess okay. it's not very, I guess it's not very common for a, a PC to have a graphics card with six video, you know, monitor out, uh, outlets. Yeah. Outputs. Yeah. Outputs. Right. But right. on some of the yeah. Apple products, they do. Interesting. Okay. So would you switch over from PC? Would you consider I, it? I, I mean, I just bought this computer in December, so. Me too. No, I'm I not, know. I'm Me not, too. I'm not buying a new PC and I'm not going to shell out for four more monitors plus another graphics card. I'm just going to live. I'll just add two monitors and that's it. It's already expensive enough as it is. Yeah. But if there yeah. is anyone who. The same. As yeah. Someone said get bigger monitors. I guess that's an option too. Yeah. 
Yeah, those 36 inches, the long ones. They're expensive though. They're very pricey. Yeah. I'm I'm trying to keep the the cost outlay relative to the income. Yeah. Yeah. It was funny because uh I had to switch over some of the banking things from obviously moving and uh some of the things that I forgot about that are on automatic pay which are all like Canva, like having Canva Pro just for the thumbnails. Like you forget about things like this and all of a sudden it's like red like Oh, you didn't pay your monthly statement. I'm like, oh yeah, I forgot. That's 13 bucks a month right there. You know, I'm trying to figure out where is where is this money going? It's going in one hand out the other. But yeah, it's all these things, right? But you need them. You need them. It's the only way to stay afloat. Uh, bigger monitors, everyone's saying. Yes, bigger monitors. Someone's saying HDMI splitter. I guess I could look into that too. HDMI split. Yep. You could do that too. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Um, and that's the same thing with me, Tony. I bought this computer last year to do just to to do live streaming and record videos, right? Spent a lot of money on it. Unfortunately, cracked the screen a couple weeks ago, but I don't really want to give this computer up because I got so much money into it right now. I, I don't have really the cash to be buying a new computer at this point. So you make do with what you have. Yep. Um, unless it becomes on... an issue where I can't stream, then we got to yeah, change. I... You know me, I'm not big on wasting money on stuff I don't need. So, uh, you know, I'm only I'm yeah. going to try it with the four monitors and see if I can get by with that. And then if I can't, then, uh, you know, months down the road, we'll look at adding more. But we'll just step yeah. up to to two more, maybe in a month or two. Muskie Doge says, Mass is a Virgo, very wise and analytical indeed. I think we're supposed to be creative and out of control. But I'll take that assessment, Musky Doge. <laughs> uh, let's see. Is the Phase 6 36-inch monitor see a Steven Vincent? So, all right. I know a lot of you guys want to talk that to talk about that. So maybe take we it can away. start take off. Take it away. Yeah, we can start off with that. So let me put the graphic up on the screen for us. Hang on one second. We're going to do a share screen, and hopefully it won't be too much of a problem. All right, let me pull this up. Because I did make a new one. All right, Tony, I'm going to full screen it for one second while I get the other one set up. Yeah. Yeah. And should be showing up right about now. Okay, so you guys should be seeing it on the screen. Take off should the Should be chat. a list of... Yep. Yep. Hide the chat. No, I mean the the one on the bottom, the highlighted chat yep. from Musky Doge. Yep. Hide it. Ah, oh, come on, baby. Come on. Man, it's Thank tough you, to Mitch. handle this. I'm trying. There All right, go. there we go. That, I think it's hidden. That looks good. Okay. Yeah. All right. So let's talk about ISDA and uh what's gonna happen tomorrow and and where, where is it coming from so first of all let's just be very clear about this bigums and randall cornett are the two channels you want to go to for this information these guys have been following this for months and are clearly up to date on it and have a way better uh, a much larger wealth of knowledge than me and tony on this um but we'll go over it anyways so it goes into effect tomorrow morning, September 1st, 2022. This is the sixth phase. Uh, there have been five previous, and this was actually supposed to go into effect last year, but it's been delayed because of the pandemic. So the first tomorrow will actually be a day ready longer than, uh, I'm sorry, a whole year, calendar year that they've had time to prepare for this. Uh, it will affect anyone, any of the funds out there who are have o over $8 billion in AANA, and we'll talk about what that is. Phase five, which was the last time they raised that rate, was $50 billion. So they are dropping it substantially here, uh, these requirements that are, are going to be needed to be met. They're doing it to get rid of some systematic risk. And this has come about a lot since 2008, right? Tony, you want to take a couple of the next ones? 
No, I'll let you go through it. I'm just reading some okay. chats here while you're, right. while you're talking. You you sure. did the work. Go ahead. Yep. Okay. Uh, so originally, this the concerns about these margin requirements were by the G20, which is a bunch of countries in Europe and North America. And uh, they basically have put this around in the uh, economy to try to keep down uh, these this risk after what happened. So, and we saw a perfect example of this with Archegos. What happened with Bill Huang back in uh, last year with Discovery and those stocks? Uh, it's estimated to affect upwards of 775 different entities across the economy. Non-compliance can land you on a DNT list, which is do not trade. So basically, if you don't get in line and you basically get black booked, so to speak. Um, and why are we concerned about this? Well, we're thinking about this. And I, I know, I think me personally, and I've discussed this with Tony before, about possibly smaller funds getting in trouble, uh, trying to meet these requirements. Now, the thing that we're not really talking about is how much have they done in the whole, all the time leading up to this date, September 1st, right, guys? We've known about it for a long time. Big M's and Randall have been talking about it for a long time. So they've known about it for a long time. So that becomes the question now. How prepared really are they for this? And I think that's going to tell you, uh, what, that's going to dictate what happens uh, with this tomorrow. If this is actually something they haven't prepared for, then we might see some craziness. But this could be another date that just go comes and goes. Um, it's one of these known catalysts that we've talked about that come and go. And, you know, I think me and Tony have been pretty clear. We're looking for that unknown catalyst, right? That thing that is going to come up and bite them on the ass and that they never saw coming. And that's my only issue with all of these dates and everything. All this stuff can be pre-planned for. It's the unknown catalyst, the black swan event that I'm interested in, that I'm looking forward to. All right, I'm going to down for a second. And I'm sure you guys have some questions, won't be able to answer, but fire away. All right, let me get this graphic down first. There we go. Is the graphic down? Yep. For you guys? Okay. There we go. All right. So that's where we're at with that. Now, like I said, I have no idea how this is going to affect the market tomorrow. I don't even know if it's being implemented. Do you think probably before the trading day starts, Tony, tomorrow? Uh, I, I'm looking. It's affecting U.S., EU, Australia, Canada, Hong Kong, Korea, and Switzerland. So probably yeah, for the beginning of the trading day for each of those regions. <clears throat> there is a, a slide that was being passed around on Twitter. The is the OTC derivatives compliance calendar September 1st for all of these different regions. Initial margin requirements apply to covered swap entities with material swaps exposure. Uh, so yeah, um, September 1st. Sorry about that. For those, for those asking about the date, that is the date on the ISDA compliance calendar. So what is the hashtag save Billy? Can someone please explain that to me? <laughs> uh, I, I will, since I can talk. Okay. Um, Bigums did a, a live stream like two nights ago on, on his whiteboard explaining, um, what was he explaining? The ape, why ape is a good thing. And he, he used Billy, a little boy that got <laughs> run over by a bus, as as, as his, his example. example of ape. Yeah. And then he went on Trey the next morning and talked about it some more. So for those of you that did not watch that, you know, that I think at least the first 30 minutes of Bigham's talk was was a really good talk in uh, in an entertaining manner about why he believes that ape is really the as I call it, the ticket to ride for AMC. It is Adam Aaron's uh, ability to pay off the debt in the future. And we can't ignore the fact that AMC has 5 billion in debt and 
coming due between 2023 and 2029. If there is no squeeze that you're waiting for before that debt starts coming due, you're going to be holding a company that is in serious trouble. Now, maybe you didn't realize that when you bought it, but that is the situation. I'm sure none of us wanted to be uh, holding a stock with $5 billion in debt for two years, but that could be the situation. <laughs> so uh, it's got to be dealt with at some point. And uh, Ape is the way that they could do it. And if you haven't seen it, there is a great, great video clip going around of uh, Warren Buffett from about 1995 at the shareholders meeting. And I swear to God, it's exactly the same speech the same talking points that Adam Aaron gave about the preferred stock being a currency that the company can use strategically. Now, in Warren Buffett's case, they they wanted the currency. They used that exact word. You know, the words that Meet Kevin said, make this a scam. Yes. Warren Buffett yes. said, uh, Warren Buffett used those exact words. It's almost like Adam Aaron went back to 1995 <laughs> and pulled that slide deck to now. Because it's the exact same thing. And the questions from the audience were the same thing that that the AMC investors are asking Adam Aaron, except Warren Buffett got a round of applause and Adam Aaron is getting jeered and booed. Getting booed. Yeah. And uh, I, I'll tell you what else Warren Buffett said. He talked about good dilution. He might not have used that exact phrase, but they were the audience was worried about dilution of the preferred stock on their shares. And he said, yeah. If we're stupid and we're, you know, irresponsible, uh, dilution could be harmful, but we can be harmful with cash and common stock too. So you're not yep. giving us any special powers here. What you're giving us is a tool, a currency to use to improve shareholder value. Now, in his case, he's like, if we can buy, let's just make up a, a number. If we can buy a company that wants preferred stock in Berkshire Hathaway instead of cash uh, that's going to add shareholder value of $1.5 billion and we can get that for a billion in preferred stock, that right. is improving shareholder value. That is good dilution. And Big I would time. make the same argument, and I've been researching this. There, I know people hate to hear this, but uh, there is a possibility that paying off the debt on AMC could be seen as good dilution. I can't say that with certainty how the market's going to take it because I don't That's know, a problem. but right. But it, it will fundamentally improve the company's balance sheet and all of the yeah. uh, ratios that accountants and finance guys look at. So maybe, maybe it will be good dilution. I can't say that with a hundred percent certainty, but I would encourage you to go find that clip of Warren Buffett. It's floating around on discords and Twitter and Reddit. It's about 12 minutes. And uh, I think you'll be surprised at the parallels between that talk and uh, what Adam Aaron's been saying. You said that was on a Berkshire Hathaway uh, uh, earnings call, actually? From from 1995. It's on YouTube. Um, there is a, a YouTuber who put a six minute clip just the talk about preferred stock or you can find the whole thing it's about an hour long and uh, the warren buffett part is in the the first 10 or 15 minutes the the preferred stock part is in the first 10 or 15 minutes got it okay okay but that's where um, say billy came from from that's where Biggums. okay that's where billy's from got it um let's see so so I, I'm interested to know in the chat, uh, what uh, what are you guys' thoughts on this? I'm interested to know in the chat because I know a lot of people have been asking us about it, what our thoughts were. Um, and I know for me personally, I've seen too many dates come and go that I feel like uh, have been hyped up to the point where they should have been ready for this by now. If we're anticipating them making a mistake, there's a good chance they've already corrected it at this point possibly but i can't say that for sure and as this play evolves things change right on a daily basis you're talking about the the hedge funds and and phase six or the family offices yeah yeah i think yeah. it all comes down to like we, these are professionals so if they have the financial capacity to plan for it they have 
Now, if some of them are getting caught off guard because the market's going down and they're already over levered, you know, yes, there could be some interesting stuff happen, but we won't know that until things start getting implemented. So uh, I'm taking a, just a sit back and chill type attitude. If something happens, great. I wake up to a surprise one day. And if it doesn't, then I'm not disappointed. Yep. Yep. And we've been trying to play that this whole time this way. By the way, MC, thank you, my friend, so much. Appreciate you, brother. Appreciate you. Uh, Big M's whiteboards are epic for shorting my ADHD, says Stephen Vincent. <laughs> Love that shit. Um, yeah, and listen, listen, we got no issue with uh, Big M's. We love Big M's over here. Uh, we're big fans. So uh, I definitely 100%. Uh, hope that he's right about this tomorrow. I hope this does uh, turn out to be something really good for us. But like Tony said, we've gone past these dates before. And because we've prepped this way, we haven't woken up disappointed. Not on March 3rd, not on June 3rd, not on any of these dates, right? We've just woken up. It's just been another day. Um, MK Malta says I need to watch the whole thing. I will definitely, definitely listen to it. Absolutely. Uh, let's say to hit some people in the chat. Pam the Trader is here tonight. Adrian Fernandez. We got Wood Stonk. Jeffrey Rocha. Good evening. RKW, RWK88. MK Malta. I said. Roseanne. Good evening. MC. How you doing tonight, my friend? J Dub. 1796 Patriot. The new guy. Get away from me. Get away from me. And uh, all right. I think we're caught up here to the bottom. Michael Anthony. We got. All right um let's see j beebs i didn't see tom z jimmy bryant amc panda all right now i'm catching up catching up here boss blunts expose meet kevin understatement says mc yeah i was going to talk about i, I wanted to me. talk about a couple of other common questions that have been coming through my dms and discord since i haven't been live let's do it <clears throat> uh meet kevin uh i'm just going to touch on this real briefly uh, first of all, he is, he did, uh, delete all of his AMC ape videos and tweets, by the way. Wow. Once he saw my video, he was like, <laughs> that's it. <laughs> Can't do it. No. <laughs> no, he got mad. He got mad that he got called out and people didn't listen to him. And, uh, but also what came out is, uh, meet Kevin is launching three ETFs. Did you know that? No. Is he really? He is. And uh, coincidentally, you might have heard that there's a, a bearish meme ETF coming out. Oh, Did you really? hear about that? Yeah. No, tell me, tell me. No, tell me. Well, I mean, me. we've already had a bullish meme ETF. That's been out for a while. And of course, it's just a matter of time before they come out with the opposite. You always got a bear and bull ETF on just about anything you want. So uh, it doesn't surprise me that a, a bearish ETF is coming out. And uh, it's just, look, they've already got a million ways to Sunday to short us. What is one more? I'm, I'm not really concerned about that. Uh, am, am I happy about it? No, of course not. But look, if they want to short us, there's plenty of ways they can short us. Yeah. This is just one more. Yep. Uh, it, but here's the interesting tie-in with Meet Kevin. And I posted this in my Discord. Uh, if you look at the underwriter, the attorneys involved, uh, all of the key parties, Massalorian, are almost the freaking same between the bearish ETF and Meet Kevin's three little ETFs about the stocks that he likes. Uh, interesting. So it's not, it's not that Meet Kevin has a bearish ETF. He does not, right? Mm -hmm. But all of the parties that are putting together his ETFs are the exact same parties that are putting okay. together this meme bear ETF. And that's what well, really that got sense. people upset. And uh, I've just been kind of theorizing that, uh, you know, when you get up there in YouTube land and you're doing financial stuff, you probably cross paths with some people on Wall Street that become your informal advisors, right? Maybe yeah. say, hey, yeah. would you like to have an ETF? You know, that people you go to for questions. I would love to have somebody like that. I, I often talk about it. I wish I had someone that could help me figure shit out like that. You know, pick mm -hmm. up the phone. What does this really mean? Yeah. And uh, I, I am convinced, even though Kevin says it was all his own due diligence, it 
it would be my guess that he probably talked to somebody and got his ideas about the AMC ape. I call it a script in joking manner, but I think he was fed some ideas by someone smarter than him. And he's like, yeah, that sounds all legit. Let me get out a video. I haven't talked about AMC in a year, but let me get that yeah. video out. Yeah. And then, uh, I don't know if Matt Kors, uh, copied meet Kevin or, you know, they have the same friend that gave them the info, but it was eerily similar how uh, Matt and Kevin's talking points were so close. Yeah. Interesting. So very, interesting. I just, I just kind of think when I'm looking at these, these people that are helping Kevin put together his ETF and they're also doing the bearish ETF on the meme stocks, wouldn't that guy, you know, maybe make Kevin an unwitting patsy by loading him with some information that sounds legit, that if you don't read the documents and actually put some real thought into it, yeah, yeah, that sounds right. Yeah. You know, let's yeah. get out of ape. Yeah. yeah. It's going to be dilution. Well, so man, I didn't realize that Tony. Nice catch. It it's, it's been uh, an interesting week and poor Kevin's, he just wiped his, yeah. He wiped all his ape stuff off the, you know, but the internet never forgets. It's all, you no, can they still don't find it all. Yep. Yep. You sure can. You sure can. Uh, and as far as I a couple see people it, in the chat, go ahead. DC is asking, what is Lou talking about the AMC ETF? That's, that's what we're talking about. The bearish ETF. But again, you know, some people on YouTube that don't really, you know, they just like to use buzzwords. Oh, there's a bearish ETF. Yeah. Uh, uh, right. It's Buzzwords, another way right. to short the stock. Look, it's nothing that doesn't already exist out there. I don't want you guys losing any sleep over that. There's a million ways they can short our stock already. What's a million and one? That's right. That's right. Uh, looks like Shadow Girl is looking for a sugar daddy in the chat. <laughs> and someone's <laughs> asking about the end of the tunnel. And Liz Clayman just joined us. Good evening, Liz Clayman. What's up, Liz? Uh, I I definitely think there's light at the end of the tunnel. I, I me and Tony wouldn't still be in this play. And if we ever decide to leave it, you guys are going to be the first to know. If I don't find value in this anymore, I'm out. And it's simple as that. Um, I have stand stood by this company and will continue to stand by this company. I'm a fan of the movies. I'm a fan of AMC. Always have been. One of the reasons why I got in this play, one of many, but one of the reasons I'm not getting out is definitely not because uh, is the tomorrow and these new requirements don't cause a short squeeze for me. And, and I'm, I, not that. I'm not getting out because of that. I'm not getting out because a couple of YouTubers don't like ape. Right. I mean, that, right. That's exactly. all going to, it's the same freaking company. It's going to sort itself out. And you either look, if you, if you're, understand that they have debt that needs to be paid off. You, you stay in the play. If you don't like that, then get out now. Now's your chance. Cause you're in a, you're invested in a company that's got 5 billion in debt that they need to pay off. That is the reality. You got to make a decision guys. No yeah. one's gonna, no one's yeah. gonna uh, judge you, you know, for doing what you need to do. No. Nope. That's one thing for sure on these channels. We have, we try not to judge anyone. Everyone's got their own financial situations out there. Some people are allowing or being allowed to continue to buy and hold. Some people are, could be, are able to still buy. Some people are not. Some people have to sell. And we all need to get around our heads wrapped around that idea that everyone's going to have a different situation. I'm still bullish on the company. So is Tony. That's why we're still talking about it. If at some point this play no longer becomes uh, something that can be profitable, you're going to know. And uh, we're going to talk about different things on the channel going forward on the collabs, but we're still going to be talking about AMC because we're going to be holding our position. So you don't have to worry about that. No one's selling any Ape or AMC over here. Uh, let's see. Pam says she's still buying on the dip. See, there you go. Pam is still buying on the dip. I bought, uh, Rachel I says, bought, I bought eight good. twice this week, by the way. You did, right? Five, 580. Five, 550. Yep. And uh 550 yesterday and five dollars today. Oh, you got that five today. Yeah. And you know, I'm not like I said on my live stream today, I'm not buying a thousand shares at a time because there's still potential downside. That's the market right now that we're in. 
I'm yeah. adding strategically to positions, but I'm not spending my last dollar because no. tomorrow it might be 450 for all I know. How do I know them? I'm not going to wake up to the spy being down 3%. Nothing to do with ape, but you right. know, if it's, if it's cheaper tomorrow, I want to have some money to buy tomorrow too. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I don't want to be out of cash. Right. All right. Dream of stuff says, yeah, the pounce is a, a debt removal. Uh, that's the biggest catalyst for me. Yeah, absolutely. Dream of stuff. Uh, when I think that's, uh, what he was intending with this, right. As well as trying to expose these shorts. Some of this, uh, Tom Foolery that's going on. Old Doge says, April will work. Just hold if you can. We're all holding, man. I know on these channels, we are holding. Um, I bought a little, but I'm going to sell, says RWK88. Uh, I picked up a hum shares at $5 too, so roasted caffeine. Yeah, you guys going in at $5 today, huh? That was a good, that's a, that's got to, <laughs> that's got to be a good buy. I mean, honestly, this stock was at $27 two weeks ago. And now it's at what? What are we at? Like thirteen fifty? Yeah, nine combined nine plus two? five. Yeah, fourteen bucks. So it's half price right now. More. Uh, Doc is in the house. G Immortal. Good evening, Cha Ching. AMC Panda. We said Angelina ATF. How you doing tonight? David Wiley, Musky Doge in the house. Doctor McLovin saw twenty four. The money. Uh, Norm, I saw Lupe, JT Wisco. How you doing tonight? DC Woodstonk and Real Rugged DIY. Uh, Real Rugged says, Maslorian, wonder if they're going to try to use the bearish. Oh, okay, we got this question, right? Somehow, anti meme retail take on some of that short interest so they can scale out. Yeah, that's definitely a possibility, right? Real Rugged. Um, Someone said I would go to jail so that 4 million people could squeeze. I, saw that. <laughs> I don't even I want to know what I'll take a short there. sentence. I know I don't know either, but I would uh I would take a, a, a short bid if we could squeeze this. Ken Arms says Tony and Mass, we Bush, securities top analyst just got issued a two dollar price tag for AMC. I know in March of 2021, Rich Greenfield gave AMC a one penny price tag. And then it soared to $72 within three months. So they can take those price targets and stick them up their rear end. Yep. Uh, salute to Mass says, opinionated assholes. We got into ATXG at $20 on JWS. Nice, opinionated assholes. Great, man. $2 is actually a, that. that's about a 200%. Yeah. That's about a 200% yeah. bull over that one penny guy. <laughs> right. <laughs> That's how I look right, at it. Right. It's a hell of a buy. Hell, hell of a buy. Uh nice though. Good, good, nice to get in on TXG. Yeah. Some uh some people were able to get paid on that. Bill Lucker, Bill Butlicker says, what if it gets shorted Bill to one dollar? Really really hard to pay off debt that low. Seems like they dump all they will want. Lost one thousand percent in two one hundred percent in two weeks. Bill, we all just saw our shares get cut in half, right? In the last few weeks, we are all still holding. I know it sucks, but it is what it is. We've seen this happen before. This isn't the first time. We, we were at $9 two weeks before 27. GME was uh, high. AMC was high. Bed Bath & Beyond was high. I mean, if, you're, yeah. if you are charting, you could tell that they were reaching a peak and a pullback was probably going to come. Yeah. The split, the split and all the FUD, and then on top of that, Powell at Jackson Hole of you know Boom. it's that's why everything's getting obliterated right now right and it's not right. just the meme stocks but the meme stocks are going to take punishment more than a blue chip stock that's just guys you've been in this play for a long time right <laughs> you've seen right. this happen before yeah. I'm not trying to talk anybody into staying in it but I mean for the I know there are trolls in here you know putting these comments in the guys who are, are solid in this play have been through this roller coaster many times. If you're scared, it's going to go down to a dollar. I would suggest you sell tomorrow. Yeah. Honestly, 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 and if, if, if you're, you know, otherwise I'm just assuming that the people throwing those comments out and I know some of the names are purposely trolling. So mass, uh, some of those comments you can just skip over. 
Yeah, if you see him in the, hit me in the private chat if you see that. Yeah, I will. I will. Okay. Ryan says, Mass, can you explain how a lot of apes, shit, now I covered it, uh, cost are under $4. Some have averaged down to 0.063 cents. So, Ryan, I think uh, what we might be seeing there. Uh, so, is, are you asking about the cost average being under $4 and getting delisted? Is that what you're worried about? Cost average is under four dollars. Some are in the cents. So would that be on the way the brokers divided up AMC and APE, Tony? Of why yeah, Ryan might are, be seeing that? I'm guessing, but I don't know. I'm guessing that he's in Canada. Some of the Canadian brokers have taken different ways to reflect the cost basis of ape okay. in client accounts. And okay. what I've been telling people is, don't worry about what the cost basis of AMC versus ape is in your account. Because at the end of the day, did your overall cost basis between the two plays change? If you had $1,000 invested in it, does it matter if it says 999 is in AMC and a dollar is in Ape or 500 is in each? Does it really matter? Right. As right. long as your cost basis is still the same between the two, uh, I, I don't see the big deal. Okay. But if it bothers you, call your broker. And, uh, you know, if, if you're worried about taxes, then I would say, you know, print out the paperwork from Adam Aaron, where he said he expects them to be the same and, and get yourself a good CPA. If you want to go make that argument that it should have been divided 50, 50 and your broker is reflecting a incorrect cost basis. It really doesn't matter until you sell and pay taxes. What you see in your broker account is irrelevant. What's this? There, buddy. Thank you, bro. Happy birthday. Thank you, buddy. Appreciate you, man. It, is it really you, your birthday? Appreciate you. Appreciate it. <laughs> I got a birthday beer. Is it your birthday? Yes. 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 Thank you. Happy fucking birthday. I didn't know that. Thank you. Yes. Thank you, bro. To get old together. Appreciate you. <laughs> <laughs> to, to get old. What a time to party. Thank you, bro. Appreciate it, man. Much love. Um. If it says, it says, uh, I'm sorry, I got pulled away there. What, what did we say? What were we just saying? Oh, uh, we were just talking about the cost basis. Uh, new guy asking if I have any AMC calls. I do not at the moment. Uh, I'll be looking. If uh, we fall somewhere between the, if we add the two tickers up, if we fall to some price level between nine and 12 bucks, I would be considering calls. But I've got to also look at the overall market conditions and see if I think in 90 days we could have a swing up. Because I, I like to buy them about three months out when AMC hits a low. Yes. Yeah. And we're probably looking, we're probably close to that right now, right? I still feel for real in the chat. Phil, how you doing tonight? We're getting close. We're getting close. Yeah. We're getting close. We are. Phil, by the way, hell of a job on the last couple of videos you released, man. They were unbelievable. I know we played a bunch of them the other night. I hope you don't mind, but we tried to send some people to the channel. Uh, but yeah, we played the Trey video. What was the other video that we played, Tony? Trey and... Uh, the oh, the Meet Kevin uh, fanny pack. Yeah, yes, yes, that's it, that's it, that's it. <clears throat> I yeah, would start singing it, but then it's going to be stuck in everybody's head. Phil's had some real <laughs> good... Uh, Phil's had some good live streams in the afternoons lately playing his music and keeping people in good spirit. So good job, Phil. We appreciate you. Those are OG. Phil for real, guys. If you haven't gone to Phil's channel, check it out. Go to Phil for real's channel. P-H-I-L for the number and then R-E-A-L. Dino Mike says, Mass uses more chapstick than LL Cool J. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, guys, for all the birthday chats. Appreciate that. Thank you very much. Appreciate all you guys. Um, uh, let's see. They can try to delist us. Hang on here. Let me pull this up. Uh, where are all those Redditors who kept saying, let AMC drop below $10 and I will be more? Here's your chance, peeps. Yeah, Sun Chi. I, that's, we're right at about me and Tony. Actually, I don't know about Tony, but my cost average is right around here. So I am I am working on getting that right to about the level. <clears throat> Someone someone asked me in the chat, I saw it fly by earlier, what my cost average is on the new ape that I bought. So I bought it at 
now at 580, five dollars, five fifty, and I did buy a little bit above seven bucks. So my total cost average on the ape that I've added since it came out is right at six bucks because okay. of that high seven dollar purchase. So I'd like to bring that down if it stays around the five dollar level. I'll keep adding. If it drops, I'd like my you know considering the price is five, I'd like my cost average to be closer to five. Yeah. But uh, we'll yeah, see. But we'll six see what is happens. not bad. Yeah. Six not is not horrible. bad. No, not at all. Not at all. Guys, thank you very much for all the happy birthdays. Appreciate it. I, I really wasn't expecting that. I forgot I don't live alone anymore. <laughs> That's weird. All of a sudden, this guy swings my door open and hands me a beer. I'm not used to that. <laughs> I wish he was a naked chick, but I'll take, I'll take uh, my roommate, I guess. <laughs> yeah, Vegas can't be choosers, right? Uh, let's see. And thank you, MC. Appreciate that, man. Thank you very much. Um, the RWK, did you ask a question? Bro, you don't have to super chat to ask a question. You know that. Let me see if I can find your question. Mm, let's see. Yes, Pam, I was hiding the fact that it's my birthday today from you. Um, where is your question, RWK? Crap. Hang on, bro. I'm going back to try to find it. Do you see it, Tony? He said it was a super chat. Which who is it? He's not in mine. Uh, no. RWK88. I must have missed it. That's the only thing I don't like about restream is trying to go back to the chats here. RWK88. Just 88. Just put it in one more time, bro. And you don't have to super chat. Just I'm going to be looking for it right now. Do you not your have your was. YouTube? Do you have a YouTube window open also? I find that helpful. I don't right now. I I, I wish I I wish I could, but I'm nervous. I'm nervous because of the stream. <laughs> <laughs> I I don't know if it's my computer or what's going on right now, but I I I'm nervous, very nervous. Um, and the new guy, thank you very much. Appreciate that, the new guy. <laughs> uh thank you katie margie call says uh tony happy birthday mass thank you uh don't, don't you want to get the mac course fanny pack no i don't i don't uh phil saying new records this weekend beautiful all right that's what we need i like keeping it light i like keeping it light um let's see bio life thank you very much sir appreciate you appreciate you I only count the number of shares in my account, says Urban Ape. Don't care about the average cost of AMC or Ape. Me neither. I mean, Tony, has that honestly ever bothered you? Have you ever really looked at your cost average and been like, man, I wish I could. I mean, yeah, when we saw um, prices go to 70. <laughs> I mean, I, I started I started buying AMC at eight bucks and I've, I've bought as high as like $39. So uh, I don't like it when AMC is at 24 looking at that that batch of shares being in the red by 50% or, uh, you know, at $15, but my, my overall basis, you know, I've, I've got some that are in the green, some that aren't. So yep. it is what it is. We're in a yep. red market. I mean, my whole freaking portfolio has shares portions of them that are in the red. What am what? If you only have one stock, I get it. It's concerning, but if you have a portfolio, I guarantee you a lot of what you have is probably red. <laughs> Yes. Phil Farrell says post Moas. Oh, please. I can't lose this. Hold on. Phil said post Moas, it will be thick doctor chick mass. <laughs> uh, yeah, I need a, I need a wing woman from the chat. Definitely. 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 <laughs> Urban Apes has loved the community. Look guys, that's a big part of this too. All of you guys who are invested in this play. And it's one of the reasons why we keep coming out here. This is important to all of us. We're all holding this stock right now. So don't take don't take it for granted how powerful and how uh how strong this community can be. I think we take that yeah. under in, I don't think we take that into consideration sometimes. Good too. Uh I was gonna ask Eric Bissell if he's been smoking something tonight. He's talking about five billion apes. Oh god. Come on, Eric. We've I'm been not... covering this shit. We've been covering this shit for a month, man. There's no five billion apes. No, no, thank you. 
Go go back uh, and watch happy the birthday video. says <laughs> yes. Junaki Ross nice. says happy birthday, Mass Chairs from Puerto Rico. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Thanks for joining us from Puerto Rico. That's great. I'm definitely Puerto gonna be coming visit you someday. Yes, I will be coming to visit you. Uh, let's see. Uh, Tony, aren't there five billion? Okay, there's Eric's question. Oh wow, you're getting yeah. faster than I am, T. Jesus. The uh, the I guess maybe the concern is like, what if eight goes to a dollar and stays there forever, Massalorian? And then they've got to pay off five billion in debt. He'd have to issue all five billion apes. Okay, yeah, and an asteroid could land in my backyard too. Yeah, I don't see the chance of that see, happening. I mean, is in the universe of possibilities, is it a possibility? Of course. Is it a likely possibility? Not. Not really that likely. Okay, hang on, because I found RWK eighty-eight comment. He said, "Phone cut me off. I bought a little ape, but I'm selling Sony if it falls to seventy-seven to buy all the ape I can." That's RWK eighty-eight. I hope that's your comment, bro. I'm sorry I missed it on the super chat. Apologies. Uh, numbers of shares is all that matters, says Aaron. That's right. I buy GA almost every day. Don't even know. Wait a minute. Whoa. Hang on. Sorry, guys. That went by really fast. Uh, somebody said, happy birthday. Get yourself some NVIDIA puts for December. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, Gia says, would you guys buy more Ape or more AMC roughly if I had the same share count? I would buy whatever's cheaper right now, to be honest with you. I would take whatever's cheaper. I, I, I am I am buying what's cheaper. I've been talking about that for weeks. I made a video about it in response to Meet Kevin, and I have bought four times now Ape since it came out. Yep. That is that assuming that, bucks. that's assuming that my thesis is correct, that you know it's going to hit some level of stability and that right now it is overly pressured with negative sentiment. Uh, yeah. I, I think between the two, I'll get a bigger bounce eventually in ape. I could be wrong. We'll see. You know, we'll see. it's just, it's just monopoly money anyways. I mean, right. I don't, right. I'm We're just throwing paper money here. I'm throwing money. Yeah. No, it's not paper trading. It's real money, but I'm just throwing <laughs> money into the, the furnace of the market. I was, I was thinking of, of it, uh, as I was going to get my lunch today, I was thinking about a lot of things. Like what is, what is, we don't have any real history with ape, like what channel, what range is it going to trade in? Right? Like, am I doing the right thing? Should I be buying at $5? Should I wait to see if it goes to three? I don't know. Cause There's we no don't charts. really have. Right. Yeah. So I'm, yep. I'm kind of like, I feel like I'm putting my money on a hard six or I'm betting the, the two or the 11, you know, and hoping that it hits. It is a little bit, yeah. it's a little bit of uh there's a, a bit of gambling involved. Gambling going know, on. You don't know which one is going to pay out. Yeah. But uh, yeah. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. Yeah, and you have to be. In order to stay in this play, you have to be okay with that. If you can't well, handle I mean, that. You don't, you, don't yeah. have to, you don't have to buy either one of them. I mean, you can no, just sit no. with what you got, right? Just keep your money on the pass yep. line. Hope for a seven. No, an 11. Yep. Wait. Seven, yes, yeah, seven. Seven or 11. Seven or eleven on the come out. Seven is a crap. Yeah, so you want yeah, you crap out if you hit the seven before your number after your yeah. rollout, right? Yeah, yeah. We gotta play some craps, Tony. I'm excited. I hope to get we get to a casino soon. That'll I hope be fun. so. Mohegan Sun. I, I, yeah, Mohegan Sun. Or I mean, I got one right up the street for me. Literally 15 minutes from here. You All can right. sports gamble and everything. Yeah, it's pretty wild. Uh, Feliz Complianos, Mass. Thank you. Thank you, Jose Rodriguez. Appreciate you, man. Thank you. Um, let's see. ATX, ATXG, uh, Droobs. Good evening tonight. How you doing? Uh, ape all day, every day. Billy never lost our hashtag. Billy says, where do shine? <laughs> uh, cancel bubble says, what do we think of beyond meat stock? It's pretty much an all time low. You know, it depends, Cancel Bubble. I'd have to leave that to the uh, experts on conspiracy theories. If you think we're going away from uh, ground-up uh, prime beef, uh, it might be a good investment, but I'm not looking at, down that road. I'm hoping we're going to change before that. 
<clears throat> but as a stock play, I don't know. I haven't looked at the the, the fun fundamentals of it or the financials of it at all. Have you been checking into Beyond Meat at all, Tony? Uh, I have not, but I think it's on the uh, the short list. Let me pull it up here. Is it? It is. Uh, says, yeah, thirty about thirty five percent short interest and twenty five percent cost to borrow. So, I have been looking at a a couple of these plays, like we were. We've been looking into Weber, which is like 54% short. But uh, there is a there is a reason why some of these companies are heavily shorted, and it's because their financials are an absolute horror show. And uh, so I think if you're buying a Beyond or a Weber, uh, which I, I have a little bit of position in Weber, not because I like the company or the financials are going to improve anytime soon, but because I'm counting on that uh, trusty retail crowd to come in and run it up because they like the high short interest. How many times do we see that? Yeah. It's just CTB a matter of SI, right? Yeah. I mean, there are people that that is all they look at. And despite all common sense, they go in and buy the stock and run it up. So if I can buy it when it's cheap and get out in a run up of uh, crazed short interest chasers, <laughs> <laughs> that works for me, but I think Beyond Meat's probably in that category of uh, financial wrecks. Okay, all right. Uh, let's see. Someone said, "Be careful at some some casinos." Someone just got smoked at a local casino. Says Chris Kingleshaw. Uh, Fire King Thirty says, "I'm excited. Just scored fifty yard line tickets to my favorite college football team home opener." Fire King Thirty, what team? Congrats. That's nice, man. Uh, Plain Ridge. No, I'm right down the street from Twin Rivers. I'm like about 10 minutes from Twin Rivers. Good morning from Germany, says Lordy. Mass and Tony, good morning to everyone else too. Lordy, good morning. How are you in Germany today? Man, you guys are looking like you're going to have a tough winter over there. Lordy, make sure you stay in touch with me over the winter. I'd love to know what's going on with uh, fuel prices over in Germany. As I was I start just covering watching some of those stories. I was watching a newscast that natural gas is 3x last year's price does that sound right in euro in europe in the euro, in europe, europe yes what the yes. hell what the hell yeah yeah they're saying right now there's almost a, i think they have two hundred thousand people and dave dave thomas is here somewhere he's my england guy uh that they have like two hundred and fifty thousand people who have signed up to boycott their utility bills until the prices come down uh something like that they got a petition going around they said that the average amount of debt people have racked up on their energy bills in 2022 is up 97 percent that's insane that's crazy 97 percent people are in for tr in for some hurting i think this winter especially europe i feel bad uh corbin says historically a bear market I don't know what that means, Corbin. I noticed that uh, on the, the news article I was watching today, Kramer was pushing energy stocks. So it was might, be time to, might be time to, might be time to sell. <laughs> you know, they're, you know, they're at an all-time high. So, of course, yeah. he's pushing it. So retail will run in and buy them and all the big guys can sell and uh, lock in all that profit. That's what I'm thinking. Yes. Yes. Um, let's see. Beyond Meat is tied in with Starbucks. Do you hear they're closing down a lot of uh, closing down a lot of Starbucks? By the way, Fire King says the Tennessee Volunteers. That was my first big time college football game. Was going to see Tennessee play Buffalo, Fire King, at uh, your stadium there in Knoxville. That is a great stadium, and the hottest girls I've ever seen at a tailgate. Holy smokes! University of Tennessee and Texas, University of Austin, Texas. Got to be the two best tailgates I've ever been to. Uh, let's see. Someone said, thanks, O Biden. <laughs> um, I'll tell you after it pops is Uncle Fester's new play. Yeah, he also made an interesting video called There Are No Brackets. And that's why for the last year, guys, we haven't given you brackets because <laughs> there never were any on a second set of books anywhere uh, as much as Lou likes to imagine they were.
But that's why when you guys asked us a million times about brackets, 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 because today he had to make a video saying, stop asking about brackets because they're on. God, it only took a year. <laughs> Finally, that video came out. Billy says my gas is double in Chicago. Unbelievable, man. That's crazy, Billy. Crazy. Bliss, good evening. How you doing tonight? Uh, CTB for AMC. Did you say that earlier what it was, Tony? CTB? Uh, I did not, but I can pull it up. I have Ortex open okay. here for AMC. Yes, please. Someone is asking in the chat. It is. Drum roll, please. Uh, wow. Cost to borrow average 37%. Hmm. Very, very spicy. I like it. The cost to borrow max. Don't you love it when people only, you know, they clip <laughs> yeah, the max. Show you the max number, not the average. Yeah. 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 The, the max is 357%. So Ooh, okay. at, right. at least, at least one institution you can, you can presume is out of shares. Yes. But, <laughs> but, so. but on average it's 37%. And the uh, short interest on AMC is about 21.5%. Let's look at APE real quick. APE is, uh, interestingly enough, the short interest is lower on APE, 16%, with a cost to borrow of also 16%. Hmm, interesting. Yeah, I would have thought APE would have been more short of yeah someone was asking about that in the chat can it be shorted yes it is currently being shorted darren has a good question he says what stops rehypothecation darren nothing right now right and rehypothecation is probably going to go on forever i don't think we're ever going to see an end to rehypothecation right tony no, probably I not i mean it's it's not illegal so. right unfortunately it's not illegal unless it's a car title then it's illegal. Um, someone said uh, Ape is on the threshold list. Is that true, Tony? Uh, I can tell. I think it will tell me on Ortex. I don't see the notification on the Ortex. Okay. One Speed Go says, who does Lou really work for? One Speed Go, if I had to guess, I would say MC, by the way, says over 40%, 42.15%. Uh, uh, if I had to guess, I would say Lou works for himself. I who think does Lou number is... two work for? Who does number two work for? <laughs> I would say he works for himself, guys. He is making plenty of money off of youtube ad revenue i mean if me and tony were doing a hundred thousand views a day we wouldn't need to do live streams that's for sure I mean, why would we bother first of all if we were just getting a hundred thousand views for walking around with our cell phones talking nonsense uh we're doing this because we actually have a position in amc so <laughs> we're not able to do that but if you're asking who he works for i don't think he works for any banks or hedge funds I think he works for the Bank of Lou and putting away money, his ad revenue away. We, Massa Lorraine and I often joke about just walking outside under the street post and turning on the phone for five minutes and talking a bunch of nonsense. And then All five the minutes time. later doing a part two contradicting <laughs> what we just said. And just do that 20 <laughs> times a day, you will be fucking rich. We would be rich. We would be rich. All you got to do is throw a couple buzzwords from the news that day, make it sound like you halfway know what you're talking about. You're set, yeah. but you know, we, we actually have integrity. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And, uh, we have, you know, we have to deal with the fact that we're not as big as loose channels because we decided to keep our integrity <laughs> instead of going out there and lying to you. We said in the long run, this will be the way this will be the way. Do you, do you remember when I was talking about this six months ago, I, you've literally talked about everything under the sun. I mean, you, I, you've got every base <laughs> covered. Know. Yeah. I remember when you talked covered. about it. <laughs> uh nick yd says master those mint toothpicks i love master chinese food man i was looking forward to find chinese food tonight nick yd and uh i was honestly looking forward to it there was the one thing i wanted for my birthday was chinese food 
and I ran out of time. So I'm going to get it this weekend at some point. But yeah, that was the one damn thing I wanted was some Chinese food. Oh, I'm bummed out. That's okay, though. Tomorrow, tomorrow, next day. We'll get it. Don't worry. Uh, someone said, myself said, confirmed ape is on the threshold list. Posted on Casey's Discord. Thank you, myself. Um, he is the number two for sure, says Dino Mike. <laughs> Lou doesn't work. All he does is make videos. He needs a breast reduction. Yeah, man, those things are, big. <laughs> they are really getting big. The funny thing is, you see him in his mugshot from Dominican Republic. Man, he put on like a hundred pounds since he come back. He is he was in shape down in the Dominican Republic. He is over o- obese right now almost. It's gotta be a hundred pounds over a week. Matt, someone's in, asking in the chat about the cumulative delta volume. Isn't that that one we talked about uh, a month or so ago that we said is not really useful? S- See, the, yes, that was the Jay Douglas video. Yeah, that's yes. That, honestly, guys. If, yes. I know someone did a, a video on CDV. We talked about it a long time ago. It's not, it's not something that I look at. And uh, I think the, the due diligence done on it, making it sound important was sketchy at best. It, yes. I'm, I'm not going to get into a, a big discussion about whether it's right or wrong on today's chart or what it means. We've already gone over it. Don't really care to talk about it. Soon Chi Adventure says YouTube. They take 50% of his ad revenue. That's right. That's right. He does work for YouTube. That's a great point, Sun Chi. Uh, Edward says Lou doesn't need YouTube money. He does it for us. He hasn't sold one cup, not one t-shirt. I agree with that. Lou versus Ape Father. Norm, who would win? That's Listen, if we don't mow ass, I'm putting that fight on. I'm promoting it. I'm gonna do it in Atlantic City at the uh, at the uh, Borgata. I'm doing I'm doing it. <laughs> I'm gonna promote it. My money's on some EMS. Reason, <laughs> on who EMS? <laughs> on the emergency service, <laughs> taking them both out of the building. <laughs> both gonna stroke out at, in the first round. I know, right? Where? Uh, let's see. Lisa says, I wonder what the chances of MOAS, AMC, GME happening before the end of the year. I know we all like to wait it to before the end of the last year, waiting and hodling. Yeah, I mean, when are we going to see a squeeze on this stock? Uh, I mean, I'm hoping that it's going to be in, that by then this year, Lisa. I don't know if we can get through another uh, a year of this. Uh, and Ape Father, Ape Father, other, I didn't say too many negative. Honestly, have you, Tony? No. Sometimes I've heard him dumping out of Aaron, but for the most part, he's pretty much to Pluto, right? I mean, that's and and, and jokes. I East Coast I mean, he, humor jokes. He's in at seventy one fifty a share. He can't really be negative about it at this point. <laughs> How could you be negative about it? If you got in at the very top, how could you be? Negative? I'm just, I'm just kidding. I think he got in at like 55. But... Yeah, I think he was mid 50s, but still, but still, that's why I give him a little more slack. The guy's yeah. down like 100k I, right now. I, 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 I do. Uh, I, I empathize with his position, and I hope he and all of us, you know, get out with some profit at some point in yeah. the near future. Yeah, hopefully we're gonna come back around and pick you up, eight hey, father. Hopefully, hopefully. Tony, do you believe that the pyramids were built by aliens, by man, or with technology that are lost to us? You know, Eric, that's a good question. And I was talking to someone about this yesterday, about going to Cairo next summer. Uh, Tony, what are you, what is your opinion on this? Uh, do you find it weird that we have possibly just in the last couple of years figured out how they built the pyramids? Do you find that strange that we, we it took us this long to figure it out? And it's still not I mean, definitive, right? They had massive amounts of slave labor. True. And it, but, it's basic it's basic geometry, right? Yeah. I, I think it was built by humans without UFOs. Okay. You don't think they had a, 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 a skewed uh, view from above? No yeah. way to, to chart that. Okay. Okay. You think they just lined up everything to, to, from the constellations? 
and we're able to do it uh, that way. I, I don't know, but I don't know about any alignment of anything. I'm just talking about the oh the engineering, the general construction. The engineering of how it was built is pretty well understood and explained. I think. So you want you understand the newest concept? How up I never built out. Have you seen that? But the French guy that did a, a paper on it a couple of years ago, and they're how saying they this is what? probably the way that it happened how they built the pyramids so that they're saying that uh, they actually built the ramps as they went up. They built an interior ramp and built out. And that makes the most sense, I guess. But do you find it weird that it took us this long to figure it out, how they did it? I, I haven't. I find about it, it weird. Deeply. Like, how did we I've, lose I've, that technology? I've I've seen some TV shows or some YouTube videos that that I watched years ago that sort of explained it. And I was like, yeah, I, I can, I can see that if you had, if you got enough manpower, you can do a lot of things. Like I, I've told you the story when I was in China of them building a massive uh, high tech factory in a few weeks, a few right. months, you yeah, know, what yeah. would take us here a couple yeah. of years, but, but they were digging the ditch to lay the electrical conduit from the building to the street. And it was like 500 Chinamen with shovels. And I'm not exaggerating. I mean, you put enough manpower behind anything, you, you can get, get shit done. done. Yeah, absolutely. You know, here absolutely. in the U.S., we'd have, you know, backhoes and tractors. No, these were literally people with shovels lined up as far as the yeah. eye could see digging this trench. Yeah, yeah. They did that with the railroads, right? When they were connecting the transcontinental railroad. Same thing. They had a lot of China yeah. men working on that. You know? Someone said Lou's hiding all the synthetics under his belly. That's possible. <laughs> that is possible. We haven't looked into that. No one's. No one wants to go down there and check it out. Uh, Egyptians were way ahead of Lego. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, they were. Jesse Matthews, how you doing tonight? From New Zealand, Jesse says... You need to look up Robert Shock's research. Of course, I know about Robert Shock's research uh, about the pyramids and the water erosion. Yeah, they think it's about 10,000 years old and it is, right? And that's probably my audio, guys. Sorry. But yeah, I've seen that. The water erosion, and that was from a time when the Sahara was much more uh, rain, a ton of rainfall. There were animals all over the place in the entire, that northern Sahara area slash now delta that was all inhabited by animals that was lush tropical forest for a long time that's just in the last five thousand years that the sahara has become dry like that someone said oompa loompas built them tony denaro you should know how they built the pyramids you were around during that time says myself <laughs> man it's not even his birthday and and, and i'm an engineer don't forget that the the trolls love it when i say that's that true by the way yeah, i've never said know, you should I'd, know this I never said I was an engineer, dumbass. Went to engineer school. <laughs> no, <laughs> <laughs> I I have a uh, economics and electronics degree, but not not an engineering degree. I was oh, an right. engineering. B B I was an engineering manager, not a project manager. manager, not a project planner, not a team leader. No, I was a six figure plus executive with the title of engineering manager, several titles, but I do not have a degree in engineering. I've been as plain about that as I can. I still see these fools going around talking their dumbass shit <laughs> in the comments. Like I'm trying to portray myself as an engineer. I was an engineering major for a semester in college. And I was like, hell no, this is not for me. Let's go into the business really? school. <laughs> How yeah, can I get yeah, into the yeah. business school? Right, right. So uh, by then I had so many credits that it did not make sense to switch to the business school. So I did okay. economics. I did economics in the liberal arts school and I did my minor in the business school, the banking in and business. finance. Yeah. Got it. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> let's see. MC says DMT lets you see the aliens. MC, can you please DM me and find, so I can get that from you? <laughs> I want to see the aliens. <laughs> uh let's see hang on i paused here for a sec tony if i pull up uh, pull up something can you cover for me for one second while i refresh can this I, yeah uh, go ahead because i need to refresh my cerveza but you go ahead first you've earned it 
Oh no no no! You you go ahead you go ahead you go ahead you go ahead go ahead. I got a second. Go ahead, do your thing. Get your cerveza. Okay. Maybe we're not going to refresh it. I guess. Yeah. Hey, reach out to me, man. If you really got DMT. <laughs> what ask Lorian? No. Right, so I'm trying to refresh this because I got paused on the chat. There we go. Pam, who are you giving out chances to in the chat? I see one chance going by, two chance going by. Massalorian drop off. There he is. Can you hear me? Yes. I am a fire breathing right. dragon. <laughs> yes. I can hear you. Um, okay. I guess there was some um, with the mods, but it seems like Pam took care of it. Okay. Um, cool. You're an engineer says Paul V. Yeah, a lot of people didn't know that. He just engineered a beer from his fridge to his hands. <laughs> <laughs> I went I went to the, all the way to the uh, yeah, to the other side of my mansion, which <laughs> Tony says he has a mansion. God damn. These fucking trolls have zero sense of humor. I mean, if people are dumb <laughs> enough to think everything I say is literally the truth, then uh God damn. Yeah. Go to a comedy club every now and then, dumbass. Seriously. <laughs> Seriously. Andrew says, yeah, if the Lazar docu doesn't make you a believer or at least curious, Andrew, I agree with you. Some For some reason, Bob Lazar, I just don't smell shit coming from him. I know that might sound crazy, but he just sounds so legit and his stories never change. So it's very intriguing. Have you, you know the story, the Bob Lazar story? Yeah. Uh, I wild, do have huh? four sets of eyelids like a lizard, though. That That is true. <laughs> do you? You're reptilian? Yes. I'm glad I'm that, that'll, with that'll, the that'll get them going for a few weeks. Seriously. <laughs> Tony Denaro's a reptilian. <laughs> they're collabing reptilians. <laughs> no wonder they're so negative. <laughs> oh, no wonder no wonder he can be so cold blooded and emotionless. <laughs> <laughs> no wonder he's Shh. dead behind the eyes. <laughs> oh, Someone said, do I do we trust Bigums? Absolutely. We've had Bigums on this channel uh more than once on and on my channel, Tony's channel for collabs. Yeah, I don't Bigums is not out to get anyone. He's doing uh he's doing good diligence and looking into stuff just like the rest of us. Uh San Diego Laundromat says, Can AA offer dilution only to the shareholders to pay down debt? Can AA offer dilution only to the shareholders to pay down debt? No, San Diego London Mats. We do have to vote on this though, Tony, right? For the conversion? No. Oh, dilution. we don't, right? Can he offer dilution to the shareholders? Oh, dilution. Gonna, right, right. He's right. going to offer dilution when he chooses. There's no vote required. That's right. And it will be, it'll either be sold into the market or sold to a debt holder or in a private offering right. how he does it. I don't know how he's going to do it. We will right. be notified, but yeah, we'll uh, be, yeah, we'll be able to buy, right? Need a vote. We'll be yeah. able to buy it. You said, I don't know. I mean, he could sell it directly to a lender to pay off debt. Yeah, I know. I know. Well, we've, we've asked him not to do that in the past. I know we've, we've brought that, we've mentioned that to him. I know Trey brought it up to him uh, on the second time that they interviewed together saying, why not do a direct uh, offering to, you know, to open it to retail. <clears throat> I don't know how. Did he talk about that it. before? 
Okay. Yeah, I, I don't, I don't know. And I don't know how he's going to do it. And I don't really care. I don't, I don't spend my time worrying about that. I do know that some dilution's coming and I hope that when that time comes, it's in a price run up. And then I hope that he uses the money to pay off the debt. But I mean, I'm not in that executive suite. So <laughs> we're all just guessing. <laughs> Humble the heart, mindful of knowledge corrected me. Thank you, ma'am. Appreciate you. She said, uh, it's definitely not dilution, but it will be for conversion. And, uh, yep, I slipped on that. Uh, fear of God 77 says, uh, says, I want to try DMT as well, but want to make sure it's 100% legit. Too much fentanyl and everything these days. Thanks, China. Thanks, China. Thanks, the administration. Thanks, uh, Alejandro Mayorkas. There's a lot of people you can thank for that, the fentanyl. Um, and yeah, be careful with that with DMT, right? Be careful. Uh, let's see here. Everyone's laughing at the re at the reptilian comments. <laughs> I see someone else says I need I need, I need to update my due diligence on the pyramid. So I'll do that in my free time. <laughs> Doctor Doctor Robert Shock. All right, I'll check him out. Among, yeah, among all the other things He's, that yeah. I've. Uh, right after I verify those flat earth theories, I'm going to get on that pyramid stuff. Have you seen, uh, have you seen that, uh, what they talk about, what, what the basis of Robert Schock's thesis is as far as the erosion? So no. the channels, there's, there's rain channels that are in the base of the Sphinx that you can see were clearly there at a time when water had to be overflowing on top of that object to create those kind of rifts and cracks in the limestone there and it's very clear that that can't be from the last 2500 years because there's been desert conditions there the whole time so how old is the actual site itself that the sphinx is built on top of as you know the head the head doesn't uh fit the dimensions are not correct to the body it is not proportioned right so they even believe that that used to be the head of a lion it was never a person's face it was uh, the lioness god goddess. I forget. I think she's fertility, but I believe that's what they always imagined was that that was a, at once just a straight lion sitting there, which was that goddess, the fertility goddess there. Because All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna put him in my uh, in my Google list to check out. I see some pictures of him in Egypt. He must be legit. Oh, he's legit. Yeah, he's yeah he's been on the ground there. Yeah. And he went yep. to Boston University. I almost he went, went to, to Boston University. Did you know I almost went to school in your town? No, you always went to BU? Yeah, I was accepted and I got my first semester bill and the, the dorm payment. And it was like for one semester, as much as it would cost me for two years here in Texas. Wow. I was like, yeah, I think I'll just go to UT. Because you were out of state? It was going to be that much yeah. more? Holy smokes. That's crazy. That's crazy. I just I wanted to go to a, I wanted to go to a different city in a big university. So. Yeah. And I, I didn't get accepted in Harvard or Duke. So. I didn't get into BU. I got into Northeastern to their communications program. I didn't get into BU. BU is the one school I didn't get into that I applied to. Uh, it's the one place I didn't get into. Oh, let's see. Um, F-A-Z-E, Alan Kamensky, how you doing tonight? It says F-A-Z-E is 98% shorted as per eight, as per Ortex. That's a lot of shorts. Man, 98%. Uh, let's see. Hold on. Someone says here, Quad Zero 8404 says, Mass, can you explain to me why two brokerages are conflicting? One lists the average purchase price of Ape at zero. The other list at 1131 and 579 average purchase price. So quad zero, that probably has to depend on your actual broker, the way that they broke things down on showing on your uh, account there. More than likely, that's just the way that they're doing it specifically. I think all of us have something a little different, right? SoCal I, Ape been, says Ape is now on the threshold. Yep. I've been Thank telling you. people, call your broker and have them explain it. Like we, yeah, we could make go. a bunch of guesses, but your broker is the one that can give you the actual explanation. So For call sure. them, but yes. there are definitely different brokers are doing it different ways. Call your broker and ask them if you're not happy with it. Yep. Lou versus Lou versus the buffet. That would be a great channel. 
Lou versus the buffet would that would blow up. I would I would subscribe to that channel. He went to UBS says you could <laughs> Uh Brian Baratheon says Vin the Khaleesi. Uh dilution during a run up followed by reverse share split would kill hedgies, says Rome MVP. Dilution during a run up followed by a reverse share split. I wouldn't be waiting on a reverse share split. Rome VP. Any idea why ape trading volume is much lower than AMC every day? Does this support the thesis that AMC synthetic shares exist? Could we say that, Tony, without a doubt that that's the case? Could we say what? I'm Anna, looking at how the... you doing tonight? Can Dad. we say what? Uh, so the question was any idea why ape trading volume is much lower than AMC every day? Does this support the thesis that AMC synthetic synthetic shares exist? I don't know why the trading volume would be anything except, I mean, they're two different tickers now, right? Join brands buzz. So that's going to happen. We're going to have different, we're going to have different, uh, volume each day for each ticker right and depending on which one is the price action is moving on depends on uh, the momentum and fomo and everything else that's going into it right uh jenna aka hanzo how you doing tonight good evening good evening uh jesse says look up gobekli tepe i've i'm well aware of it there's actually a new spot now in turkey jesse they think is older it's called the gobekli something <laughs> uh let's see northeastern great school says paul v Doc Zeno thinks there's more of a pounce to come. Mark these words. Doc, I hope you're right. You seem to think that there's some uh, other thing up your up the sleeve. I hope you are right, Doc. I would be nice. I would definitely be on down for that. It doesn't matter. Hold the line. If the line fails, we lose. Yeah, Chris, if we don't hold the line, we're definitely never going to have any of this happen, right? Definitely going to hold the line. All right, T, can you cover for me for a few minutes? Yeah, I was trying to look up the NYSE threshold list because I'm not able to find Ape on it. But Got it from a couple people. Uh, I'll, I'll look some more when you come back. Okay, sounds good. Give me one sec, guys. Why does TD Ameritrade show one, one billion for AMC and ten million for A? Put one billion what? Why is Ape not matching price with AMC? Uh, well, <clears throat> we were theorizing that it was going to come out of the gate at about a fifty-fifty ratio, but clearly it didn't. It came out like about sixty-forty, and it looks like they're. You know, they are not tracking exactly even. There's a lot of people hating on Ape and uh, probably more people selling it. So we will have to see, right? That was a it was a thesis that they were going to come out at 50-50. As we said, the market will decide what the ratio of price is between them, and we'll just have to wait and see. Fear of God says, speaking of Alex, have you heard from her lately? Uh, I have heard from Alex, but she's not allowed to come back until she apologizes about the Lou incident. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Just kidding. We'll get her back soon. Alex, I'd, I'd like to have Alex and Scarlett both for bingo night. That would be fun. James says, with so many more buys and sells, how can they drop the price every day? James, I would, I'm just guessing, James, that you're looking at maybe like the Fidelity Retail Sentiment Indicator. I know people post that up on Reddit and Twitter a lot, showing you guys like 55% or 60% or 80% of retail is all buys. That circle's all green. Like, why, how is the price dropping? That is a retail price indicator. That is not indicative of the entire market. 
So if the price is going down, that's because there are more sellers than buyers. Retail, probably on a good day, just throwing out a rough number is, let's say, 20% of the overall volume on a ticker. I mean, you can pick your number, 20, 25, 30, it doesn't matter. So if you're at 80% buys on 20% of the volume, you're at like 16% of the overall volume. It's, it's not meaningful to say that retail buys are over overwhelming the sales because retail is not buying all the stock. The institutions and the high speed traders are trading the stock, not us. So when you see those photos of retail sentiment being posted, showing that it's overwhelming buying, you might as well just throw that in the trash. It's interesting. It's good to know that retail is backing it, but we're not the majority player in any of these stocks anything. We might be the majority holder. We're not the majority trader on a day-to-day -day basis. Uh, Mod couple says you have to change the date. Okay. Let me check that real quick for it. Did I did have it on uh, August 30th. Let me see if there's an update for August 31st. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Yep, it is there. So someone had asked in the chat, what is, I think it was DevStat, what is the threshold list exactly? The, the formal definition is a security. I'm going to read it to you so I get it exactly right. Because I know there's going to be somebody that says you didn't get it right. Threshold list is a list of securities whose transactions failed to settle for five consecutive days. And then five uh, consecutive. Yeah. And then once once they do, if I'm not mistaken, I'm going by memory here. Once they do catch up, they have to be, they have to remain in compliance for like five more days after that to get off the list. Okay. Makes sense. Makes sense. Makes sense. Bringer of Z's. Good evening. How you doing tonight? STV's tan line. Good evening. Good evening. Uh, uh, let's see. So where did we stop when I left you? Let's see. Oh, you talk about threshold security list. Okay. Uh, yeah, I, I went through my th I went through my thesis on pyramids, and okay. uh, then we got back on threshold list. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. Well, we'll discuss pyramids some other night. I promise, guys. There's going to be a lot of there's going to be a lot of mass Lorian uh, live streams coming in the very near, near future. We'll talk about a lot of different things. Don't worry. Don't you, worry. You don't do have worry. some audio clipping still, by the way. Right now, yeah. Damn. This it. evening, it, it's been intermittent. Okay, I mean everything is closed. Everything. Whoa. It's just the only thing I have open right now is restream. I hope it's not a new computer. Uh, Margie, too. Kyle, what's that? I hope not too. Yeah, I hope not either. It'd be too too soon for a new computer. Uh, someone asked, do other countries, Joseph says, do other countries know how corrupt the U.S. markets are? Uh, I hope not because I don't want them pulling all their money out at once. That would be a problem, Joseph. I don't know if they realize that these smaller things are going on in the market. I mean, I think this is a big problem, but really AMC is and, and APE and GME are just a small, small corner of the overall total economy and market we're focusing in hyper focused on three different tickers right now right kelly chu singapore and we are laughing says kelly <laughs> there you go. we are laughing <laughs> <laughs> thanks what kelly movie is that for, uh that's uh talladega nights is that what that is Talladega nights yes yes <laughs> the magic man 
Thanks, Kelly. Appreciate it. Uh, Sa Saif Alzami says, we know no, it's corrupt. No, no. But it's not Talladega what? Nights. It's, what is uh, it? Anchorman. Anchorman. Okay, Ron Burgundy. That's right. That's right. Yeah. Not Anchor. Yeah, that's right. Sometimes those all got those all get turned into one big movie for me. The, all those. Uh, we Will watched Ferrell. Anchorman 2 again the other night. Oh, yeah? yeah? Yeah. Good stuff. Good flick. Good flick. Good flick. Uh, guys, if you have a chance, when you get a chance, if you could hit the like button. I know we got 850 people in right now and just over 300 likes. So if you guys get a chance just to hit the like button. Kelly says, we are laughing, but still holding AMC and APE. There you go, Kelly. That's why to hear. Uh, Lordy says, so what does this threshold list do for us? I quite don't get it. I mean, some people think Lordy. it's an indicator of, uh, I mean, it is an indicator of securities not getting settled, right? But I mean, yes. there have been tickers, there have been tickers that have stayed on the threshold list for six months. Right. Some some people view it as a squeeze indicator. I just view it as one more item of interest that I don't get too excited about. Yeah. There's a lot of things <laughs> to get excited about. <laughs> but how many it's times have, how many times have we been on a threshold list in the last year and a half? I know. I know. I know. I know. It gets old after a while, right? It it makes for some great YouTube content for people that don't have much else to talk about. But. And that's it. That's it. Uh, we are all numb from that FUD and yeah, Norm. It's not Holy FUD. Shit, I mean, the threshold list is not FUD. It's a legitimate indicator of somebody not clearing stuff. And it is an item of interest. Is it something I'm going to wake up and say, we're squeezing next week because we're on the threshold list? Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> Yuka, thank you so much, man. I, 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 I can't thank you enough for that. That's amazing. Thank you very much. Man. Appreciate it. Um, honestly, I can't. We can't do this without you guys. So thank you for everyone that's been helping uh, me and Tony's channel this whole time. How long have we been collabing for now, Tony? On here, almost a year, right? You're one of the few that's made the cut this long. And vice versa, I'm no, sure. I know, I know, I know. There's a trail of tears know. on Collab. It has been a trail of tears on Collab. <laughs> We've lost so many we along had, the we way. We had high hopes for so many. Seriously. Seriously. But Yuka Frida, yeah, that is amazingly generous. Thank you so much. Much love. Much love. Appreciate you. Appreciate you. Uh, is this the first time Ape is on the threshold list? Yes, Billy. This is a new ticker. Know, yeah. Yeah, it's got to be, got to be, got to be. Common Sense Investor, good evening. How are you doing tonight, CSI? CSI says yes, but at the end of the 14 days, uh, the threshold list, they simply pass the debt to someone else. It means nothing, says CSI. Yeah, that, that's my fear. They have so many ways to kick the can down the road or, you know, do a, a sham closeout. That's why yeah. I, I just don't get excited about it anymore. And I'm not just talking mm -hmm. AMC and Ape, guys. I mean, if you day trade or you play other squeeze plays, every fucking body is talking about, oh, we're on the threshold list, and then nothing happens. So if I'm yeah. a little bit jaded, it's not specific to AMC or Ape. It's just I see this all day, every week, and yeah. a lot of times nothing happens. Sometimes something happens. Yeah. But it's not like right. a it's not a hundred percent indicator that something is gonna happen. So hey, it's good. It's good to know. It's good yeah. to have in your back pocket. Yeah, but absolutely. uh I'm not gonna count on it for anything. That's all I'm saying. And we have that problem across the board, especially if you come to me and Tony's channels. We <laughs> we don't take things and overhype them, at least try not to, because we have seen letdowns. I mean, it's been pretty clear. People are upset when things come and go, and I get it. I get it. And I'm on the other side of this coin. For a lot of this, just looking from, you know, being a, a creator, uh, someone who makes videos and following this play, trying to follow it from every which way possible. Um, we're going to make mistakes from time to time. We definitely try to keep uh, it to a minimum. And, you know, every... CSI, you are not the worst collab. 
<laughs> if if every stock that was ever on the threshold list had a squeeze, I would be, yeah, you know, ecstatic. Yeah. But I mean, they they come and go, and like I said, there's been some that have been on there in the in the history of threshold list for six months or maybe even a year. There, I mean, you can yeah. Google what's the longest a stock's ever been on the threshold list, and threshold probably tell price. me. I've I've done it before. I forget, but it was a long ass time. Yeah, uh, it's 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 an interesting data point, but it's it's just a data point. It's not a certainty of anything. There's a lot of interesting data points out there <laughs> that don't need to be covered. Um, let's see. I heard about that bodybuilder Zane fight. Says Mass's wife, Jenna. Thank you for the happy birthdays. Appreciate it. Thank you guys. Thank you um aa said check not stalemate we will have our time to end this says humble heart mindful of knowledge yes that's right he did say checkmate not stalemate good point and yeah csi you were not the worst collab not even close my friend not even close <clears throat> uh let's see Just all right someone sent me a, a twitter dm showing shares outstanding oh we got for AMC on this screenshot, it says, uh, and I guess he's, I guess someone said this was from TD Ameritrade. Is that right, Eric? Shares outstanding on AMC. It says 1.03 billion. <laughs> and for, is that what it says? Yeah. And for, uh, ape, it says 10 million, 10 million. Yeah. So one, one more case of somebody screwing up the data. Alkina, good evening. How are you doing tonight, Philly? Philly in the house. Uh, let's see. Who else? We just had some new people show up. Uh, CC Villa, good evening. Here late as usual, better than never, right? Diaz is in the house. Prometheus, I see. Billy Billy. Krishna, good evening. Uh, I saw some new people in the chat. Peace, love. Jenna. Uh, who else? Eager 25 squeeze, I saw. Mod couple, R. Bagelio, Michael Dismeyer. Michael says they will just cover those FTDs with more short positions or buy another stock equal to its value thanks to the SEC loophole. And uh, that's a good point that Michael makes, right? There's still that uh, loophole with the FTDs, right? I'm sure they have a that million loopholes. That still exists. Loophole. I know. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I I mean, what, the, what I'm counting on is uh, somebody fucks some shit up and gets in trouble yep. or there's a catalyst of unknown origin that, that gets people buying this thing. That's about all I, that's about all I wake up and hope for all the other nonsense we've talked about for the last year and a half. Oh man. I've seen, I see it every day on many other tickers and nothing happens on them. So yeah, it's cool. It's cool. I'll be hopeful. I'll be hopeful with you, but I'm not going to pump that stuff on this channel. Yeah, yeah, seriously. And I think, uh, you know, I think that the is the thing is good for us. I think that them having these requirements is going to keep some things in check. And maybe we won't see another thing like Archegos happen. But as far as like an immediate reaction from the market tomorrow, we're going to find out in a couple hours. But uh, I, we've seen these days come and got, go, guys. And that's the only I, thing we're saying. Right? Hey, I'm, I'm buying ape. I hope that it fucking being on the threshold list makes a difference. Right. I'm buying it for yeah. a reason. Yeah. So of thank course, you, Maggie. I hope. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. I saw Maggie this morning over on Casey's live stream. Uh, let's see. They are robbing Peter to save Paul, says V. View says they are, and Hodlers are getting the sword, Peter. <laughs> That's right. Pantheon's in the chat. Pantheon, good evening tonight, my friend. How are you? They were asking about you, Pantheon. I did see Pantheon over in Phil's chat the other day. Thanks for uh, checking in with us, buddy. Yeah, appreciate you, Pantheon. Glad you're still hanging around with us, man. Hanging around with us losers, me and T. <laughs> <laughs> uh, someone said, Mass, I'm playing BIAF tomorrow on the IPO. I'm going to look at it in the morning. I don't really know too much about it. I, I, I know me and T haven't talked about any IPOs this week so far. So, Box uh, of chocolates. Yeah. Box of chocolates. Just be careful you don't get caught holding your ass or your I'm gonna hat. Say, I'm going to say what I said on my afternoon live stream with the IPOs. You guys know I'm not, I'm not 
doing a video on every IPO. I've been very selective about the ones. And the one that, that ran today, what was it? ATGX or AGTX? GTX. That was, yeah. that was not on the Weeble pre-IPO list. And for whatever reason, it didn't pop up on my screener when it was running. Huh. But that, that being said, uh, when I, when I buy a pre IPO before it launches, I've done great on all of those, the two or three that I've covered on videos, we've made a lot of money on those. The other ones, the other ones, if I'm live streaming or if I'm in discord, if I'm not live, we're, we're still watching them. But I, I will tell you guys the same thing that I always say, I'm not going to buy those in the first 10 or 15 minutes, mm -hmm. no matter what's happening, because I've seen it too many times where they launch way up here. And then after 15 minutes, like what happened with that, uh, that hemp one the other day, they just crater and right. uh, that, that happens a lot. So you, I would, my style, I'm not telling you what to do. My style is wait and check the momentum for a bit before you jump in. If it's going to go from $4 to a thousand, you can afford to wait 10 minutes. Yes. You don't want to get stuck buying at 40 and then have it drop to 15. So that's, that's right. how I view it. You guys do what you want. Yep. Good points. See all good points. Someone said, uh, Pantheons, they miss Pantheons, uh, live streams, putting them to sleep at night. I'm sure that's because of the soothing voice and amazingly good looks. Uh, Clark says, Clark, good evening tonight. How are you? Clark says, I think phase six is going to be implemented tomorrow. We'll take about two or three months for the smaller hedge funds to start hemorrhaging serious cash. What are our thoughts? So we don't know when it's going to be implemented yet. I did see someone in the chat ask, would it be in pre-market tomorrow? I don't know if me and Tony know the answer to that. Maybe Randall or Biggins has covered that. They must have, I'm sure by now. Unfortunately, I don't have the answer to that. I should have. Apologies. Uh, yeah, I already asked you, T. You said you didn't know either, right? Someone not, just not talked about the certainty. Coinbase IPO. <laughs> Thank God I didn't. David, me and Tony did. We got effed on that big time. We learned our lesson. And that was before we even knew each other, right, Tony? Yep. Yeah, I don't think I got into Coinbase before I knew you. Yeah. <laughs> so we learned our lesson on that. Uh. As far as, Clark, as far as the implementation of this tomorrow, not seeing the effects for a couple months, uh, the, the thing would be, have they not been, have they not uh, prepared themselves for tomorrow? So are they going to come in tomorrow and not be able to meet those requirements? And if that's the case, um, then we might have an issue. So we see. Is I see uh, the one in the chat. Is that the one from Twitter? Oh, I don't know. How is it possible Maybe. that everyone gets one ape share of 516 million created, but because of rehypothecation increases the number of people that own a single share? It's not mathematically possible. Well, rehypothecation is reloaning shares. So it is mathematically possible, but it's, uh, it's, it is a form of synthetic creation. Stonka Tracker hasn't updated since 10 a.m. Just guys recall that uh, Stonka Tracker and Chart Exchange, they get their data from one lender, which is Interactive Brokers. I don't recommend that you use those as representative tools. If you're looking at Stonka Tracker, and I know, I know the guys that tweet that stuff out every day, zero shares available. Oh, wait, <laughs> five minutes later, a million shares of it. Oh, seven minutes later now there's none again how is this happening that's one broker right they have someone return share someone else borrows them this happens throughout the day you're looking at one broker out of dozens or hundreds of different lenders i would just recommend not even worrying about stonka tracker or chart exchange you're, yeah it's like uh stepping out your front door and figuring out what the weather is in kansas <laughs> right <laughs> right gonna be it's gonna be interesting to <laughs> try to figure that out uh somebody said clark said amc biggums thinks that the world bank is going to be regulating our stock market clark unfortunately i have to agree with biggums on that at some point uh they are definitely closing in on that 
they want to, I believe they want to get a digital currency across the globe and the world banks want to consolidate and they want to have, uh, they want to have power over uh, the money. You saw what it was able to do when they wanted to shut down the protests. What they do, they win the money, right? And uh, that is a way to control people. Well, I'm not going to get into that tonight. We'll talk about that uh, once uh, JACC launches. All right. AMC Biggums. All right. We talked about that. But yeah, as far as Biggums goes in tomorrow, guys, we have all the faith in the world in Biggums and Randall Cornett and those guys. Whatever happens tomorrow, so be it. But uh, they're not going to do anything but help, uh, as far as I'm concerned. Okay, yeah, get it typed up for me, RWK88. Send it to me. You got the email address. David says, every new Chinese IPO nowadays will make you a multimillionaire, apparently. Depends. You have $5 for Patreon? I could show you the way. <laughs> <laughs> Just depends, right? Oh! <laughs> oh! That was a I don't know what's going low. on, but uh, Teddy, yeah, Teddy, I, I, he's I just know. he's just kidding you, Teddy. Yeah, of course, I'm I'm a big Teddy Zane fan. I, I, I love know it. You. I know I you. I love it. <laughs> you subscribe uh, to you subscribe to his uh, bodybuilding Patreon too, don't you? I do. Yes, yes. Well, I work out clearly. Obviously, yeah. look at me. Hello, <laughs> <laughs> you can tell <laughs> clearly. Uh, Big B says phase six will have no impact, just like the below 10 margin requirement here will put in place in July. There is zero enforcement in any of these rules. Just continue to push it down. Joke. Big B, I, I have to agree, agree with you on that, that obviously there is zero enforcement going on in any of the rules. And we're also having an issue with them. Uh, no one's paying penalties for anything. It's, there's a lot going on, right? I don't know how we're going to figure this all out at the end of the day, but uh, it is kind of a joke. I have to agree with you on that. Common Sense Investor says, Bigham just told his live stream that we might not see impact of the phase six for two or three months. I've been hearing he him say that, that on some live streams. He's been saying oh, that have? for a okay. while. Yeah. Okay. And I, th I think that's, uh, a, that is, that's a reasonable way to approach it, right? Don't get expectations that something's going to happen tomorrow. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. And I, I have a hard time even saying, seeing Big M saying that, to be honest with you. Just because I know he's pretty careful with his words. Um, Adrian, who are you bouncing? <laughs> Adrian's bouncing people left and right. Roseanne, have a good night. Thanks for stopping by, doll. Appreciate you. Billy Billy says, Mass, uh, stop watching Teddy and watch more Big M's. I will. I will. I will. Teddy is just for pure entertainment. Just watching him the other the other day was pretty funny in his live stream. <laughs> Let's get back to trading. What? <laughs> Let's get back to trading. You've talked about one IPO when the market opened at 9 30. It's 12. By the way, Teddy did say he was going to join me on a live stream. So I'm going <laughs> to hold you to that, Teddy, if you're watching. So we can swap Chippendale no, stories. Yes. There you go. There you go. Did you know Teddy Zane was on the Howard Stern show, by the way? I did not. Yeah. Yeah, he had an appearance on the Howard Stern show. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Myself says, okay, it will take some time to have effect. But what effect? Well, it's going to tighten up the books myself. They're not going to be able to have these huge over leverage positions, right? They're going to have uh, it's all about margin requirements. Um, Cole Trickle says, just won 1500 Ape is where it's going. Let's go. Where are you at the casino, Cole? Man, everybody's having fun with us. <laughs> you need another beer. Yeah, I know. Seriously. Yeah, this one's empty. I know. Where's my buddy? He's probably asleep now. What time is it? Yeah, he's probably asleep. What did he give you, by uh, the way? Uh, he gave me a stinking silver bullet. Oh, well, <laughs> I mean, that, nothing wrong with the Listen, silver bullet. That's right. Biggers can't be choosers. <laughs> I'm going to actually grab one beer. It's right here. Hold on one sec. <clears throat> What was Teddy's appearance on the Howard Stern about? I don't know. Maybe, uh, maybe Mass can answer that when he comes back. <clears throat> Is there a Chippendale mixtape? Once uh, Phil gets through all of the other ones he has lined up, we'll see. 
maybe we, maybe me and Teddy can do the dance along to that. Clark says Julie wants to see some of the Chippendales moves. We'll see, Clark. You, no telling what's going to happen on a run up. You already know the shirts are going to be ripped off. Someone said Rocky Mountain goat piss. <laughs> Rocky Mountain goat piss. Oh, you heard me say that? Yeah, <laughs> I just saw, saw that in the chat. Someone said, "Happy, happy birthday, Rocky Mountain goat piss." <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, what was I just going to say? Teddy's Howard Stern appearance. Hey, someone else has seen it. Teddy's Howard Stern appearance was about him hip thrust in the air in front of the crowd. Yeah, he looked like Elvis, right? That's pretty funny. Yeah, it's pretty wild seeing that. Is it on YouTube? He was, uh, yeah, yeah. He was a young oh, fuck Lord. back then, man. He had the long hair, and yeah, it was pretty wild. I yeah, think he, he right still has. Studio. I think he still has long hair. How long was it? Does he? It was pretty long. I mean, it was rock. It was like 80s, like hair band rock, rock long, like down to his uh, hips. Yeah, it was long. Oh, yeah. It's not. Yeah. I think it's like to his shoulders now. Mm. Yeah, it was definitely longer. Definitely longer. Um, how was your knee, Tony? Lordy is asking. Uh, I. It's better. I can walk up and down stairs. But uh, like we have, we've got a fridge and we've got a mini fridge where we keep extra drinks and uh like kneeling down to load up the mini fridge is not very comfortable but at least i can kneel down to put in a couple sodas but uh okay so i know i know i'm progressing and i'm i'm able to sleep at night without pain so we're getting there that's important that's important uh david says it's at a discount to me i think you're talking to ape right now some aspect people ask why ape is crashing I think people are still really confused on what Ape and AMC, the difference between them are, which I don't really see that much of a difference. But when there's people out there telling you one is AMC, one is AMC Lite, and all these different things, I think a lot of people are just trying to find their way of what they're doing with their positions right now. And the market is reacting to Jay Powell and what he said on Friday, and we're seeing that across the market. I don't think it has anything to do with AMC in particular, APE. That's just the broader market in general, guys. Fire King 30, thank you guys for streaming. Thanks for coming by, man. Appreciate you. Uh, uh, let's yeah. see. Lico says you need a Sam. You need a Sam Adams. I mean, why do you guys? I didn't even know you guys had Coors Light in Boston. We do, we do, we do. I I normally drink Sam. Uh, that's like that's a beer I would normally sip. Sam Guinness are the two. Um, but you know, like I said. These are in the mini fridge. That's what I'm drinking. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Whatever's in there. Did you have something uh, you wanted to say? One of the comments? Uh, I was just reading. I mean, people are recycling questions. Yes, Ape is on the threshold list as of today. That is a fact for can it be? Uh, Jordan, Jordan says, Candy's so your comment. Show your sew your ankles to your knees like cotton. <laughs> I'm glad you're not in pain anymore. You can sleep. I can. Uh, I can't like touch my heel up to my butt, and I can't look at the bottom of my foot. So I'm not pain okay. free, but but we're getting there. Okay, you're getting there. That's good. Uh, I'm. I'm uh, Tammy says. Anxious to get back in the gym, so uh, hopefully this will heal soon. Good stuff. Good stuff. Tammy F. says, Al from Boston just posted a YouTube video about Citadel News. He expressed concern and was in a bad mood. Tony, what, should we talk about this? Yeah. Citadel. <laughs> <laughs> Citadel. F-I-C-C. What was it? Citadel. F-I-C-C. Sponsored member. T-T-C-C. Yes. Yeah, I mean, th man, this has taken a life of its own, you guys. Let let me. He's really just... fired up too. <laughs> it's almost like it's his first day on Wall Street. Almost, almost. almost. Let me uh, let me do a screen share here. Hang on one second. Yes, I I did put out a tweet about this. Uh, screen share. Where is it? <laughs> 
Yuka Frida. Who is Gary Gensler? Who is Gary Gensler? Charles. <laughs> okay. Screen share. <clears throat> Uh, I put a link to this spreadsheet on Twitter and in my community tab. I know this might be hard to see, but there's 207 different institutions on the uh, sponsored members list. Everybody, all the big names you would expect. Uh, on the on the FICC member list there's over almost 2000 names on the government securities division sponsored member list there's uh, 207 or so state street jb uh jp morgan ubs everybody wells fargo this is not a big deal guys tony uh, can you blow that up anymore cuz some I'm people are saying to, it's hard to see Okay. Yeah, I was trying to find where I could make the, the size bigger. Zoom. There we go. There you go. So these are all the current people who are on this board. This was board. this was one. I mean, I just pulled this from the F, FICC website, May 3rd, 2022. You can see Bank of America, Banco Santander, Barclays, BMP, Paribas, Canadian Imperial Bank, Capital One, Charles Schwab. Citadel was on there for a couple of their their entities back in May. Citigroup, Credit Suisse, Deutsche Bank. I mean, guys, this is not a big deal unless you uh, are just looking for inflammatory stuff to put out on a YouTube video and make yourself look dumb. <coughs> Al from Boston. <coughs> <laughs> but uh, look. There's another link that I put out uh, showing some marketing material from uh, from banks. And all of these banks have marketing material explaining to their clients why it is beneficial to deal with them because they're a sponsored member so that it helps their clients with the I'm I'm not going to say I, I can explain the entire process to you. You can read the links. OK. Mm. It is a marketing thing. It enables them to bring in clients and provide more services to their clients. Look at my community tab, read through the material, look on Twitter. It's, it's in both places. Uh, it's not that Citadel just got anointed to become a member of the DTCC. There's literally thousands of members. And this is the FICC, the Fixed Income Clearing Corp that deals with treasuries and mortgage backed securities. So I know I'm, I've heard all of the conspiracy theories, like this is something to clean up reverse repos just before phase six. Okay, maybe it is. But what about the other 200 members on here that have been here forever? What about yeah. the thousand that are on the FICC, the 2000 that are on the FICC members list? I, I literally don't have two days to go chase down crazy ass theories and worry about this stuff. I know why I bought the stock. Mm -hmm. The squeeze is going to happen when it happens. Uh, it, mm -hmm. You don't need me to do two days of due diligence or put out videos, getting you really angry and emotional over something that is normal wall street business. You don't come here for that. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. This is everyday business guys. This is nothing new. Casey, yes, we did. We mentioned it many uh, multiple times now that uh, APE has been put on the threshold list. I believe, right? Yeah, we did mention as that. of today. As of today, yeah. Yeah. Yep. Sleepy's not. He's actually from Waltham. You're dead on. Nobody from Boston would be upset about something like that because <laughs> we know this is nothing new. <clears throat> this is not some. Uh, this is not some shocking thing. I don't know what he's so upset about. I couldn't tell you, honestly. I couldn't tell you. MC says, the one and only Casey Shaw in the house. Who is the person in charge of the ape project at AMC? 24 The Money says, who is in charge of the ape project? I don't know if there is any ape project on 24 The Money. 
Got to get more specific with that. Tish says, ape is the key to the squeeze. Uh, let's see. I think when ape hits around 15, AA will dump some. Jeff, he's definitely going to look for a run-up, right, bro? AA is not going to dump shares when we're uh, coming down right now in price. It's not going to happen well, we hope, more than we likely hope not. until we get a run-up. I'd, I'd be I hope literally, not, yeah. I would be literally pissed. Vexed. And, and screaming at the camera. I would be... I'd be damn near vexed. Yes. Yeah, I would be vexed. <laughs> as, I would as, be my, as my as my mamma as my mamma would say, I'd be so angry I could spit. <laughs> there, there you go. <laughs> Is that a Texas thing? <laughs> yeah, I like that. I like that. Uh, oh, here we go. Here's a great question. Uh, someone said. Tony and Mass, what kind of unknown catalyst is needed to make ape pump? Like what would make apes what would make institutions want to invest in ape because it seems everyone is dumping because there's no value in it. That's from Gus. And I, I so let's Gus, let's start with the fact is does ape have no value? Well, they just took our AMC shares which were at what? 19 something when the split happened and basically split us off, right? Half and half. So I feel like Ape has that intrinsic value that they just split off from AMC. It's still holding that value as a total share between the two. That's how I'm looking at it. Tony? I mean, I, I could create a lot of scenarios that would be catalysts. But, uh, I mean, can you put the question back up? What kind of unknown catalyst is needed to make Ape pump? Any sort of catalyst that makes people think that a hedge fund is on the fence or any sort of catalyst that makes people think that AMC has some something, some new news that we didn't know about. Like, let's say they were, what was that? The other chain mass lowering that's, that's going bankrupt. Cinemark, Cinemark or Cinemark, Cineworld? Cineworld. Cineworld. Regal, Regal Cinema. Mm -hmm. I mean, who knows? Who knows what catalyst wall street gets excited about but again i i could literally come up with dozens or hundreds of different ideas from the from the mundane to the wild ass theories yep. but right now like normal wh what normal catalyst am i expecting none we're going into q3 there's nothing yeah, yeah. there's nothing normal that i'm expecting yeah. Uh, if anything, it, guys, we're ex we're expecting a a little bit of a uh, of a down quarter, right? Just because of the releases we've had so far. So I think we've been and we've been saying that for a couple of weeks now that the end of Q three, uh, their earnings are going to be a little rough. So we got to be prepared for that. The overall market itself might be a little rough. We might be totally heading into a bear market for at least the next six to eight weeks. I wouldn't be shocked. Unknown catalyst could be something as, as wild as like phase six actually does something or crypto market dumping, you know, r obliterates their, some of the collateral that they were using or uh, some, some big banks get in trouble and these hedge funds don't have access to capital or the market crashes and somebody gets in trouble because they were over leveraged on long positions where Gary Gensler says, we're going to outlaw payment for order flow for retail orders like the the possibilities are endless but that's why they're unknown because we're not it's not stuff that we're regularly expecting to happen i'm concentrating on what i do know about which is the box office revenues are increasing and the company is inching its way towards profitability and now they have a way to pay off the debt that is what i'm focused on anything else that happens unknown and my book is a bonus. I'm not in this for a squeeze tomorrow or next week. Those days in my book are gone. I'm tired of talking about or hearing about this, that, and the other is going to cause the squeeze next week. I'm just tired of it. Yeah. So I'm, we're not going to be talking about that on my channel. Touche. Touche, my friends. Touche. Uh, KCD says, how do y'all just thanks for getting up every morning and uh be in the inning so everyone can uh, have somewhere to go to listen 
to pre-market news and all that stuff, man. I appreciate you getting up every morning. I know it's nice to be able to go there and see you there. Hopefully, I'm going to pick up some of that slack on the nights coming up uh, once we switch over. So, people making progress. Good evening. How you doing tonight? Uh, let's see. Clark had a question. Hang on, Clark. I'm going to pull it up. I thought it was a good one. Uh, hey, Tony and Mass, you guys have spoiled us in this play because you really help us understand what's going on. Thank you. No problem, Clark. We're trying. We're, we're, we're trying to understand some of these things too, right? Uh, ISDA, I'm just kind of getting myself uh, familiar with it in the last couple of weeks. You guys so. Fucking in tandem, right? We're all trying to help each other. Uh, Ray's not watching. He is he with his BBD. You can, Frida says, a slice of cake for me, Mass. <laughs> slice of cake sounds good right now. Jeff says, so you're saying there's a chance. I think so, Jeff. <laughs> you definitely are not out of the game, that's for sure. If I didn't think there was a chance, I would not be holding this large of a position. I can tell you that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I would have got out of 27 two weeks ago. That was a juicy number, considering my cost average. Uh, uh, any explanation for the screenshots, TD, says Eric Everett. Did you get screenshots DM to you? Uh, if he's talking about the TD Ameritrade, uh, <clears throat> the, the 1 billion AMC and the 10 million apes, no. <clears throat> okay. I, d I do not have an explanation other than that they're they're probably going to say it was a, a data feed error. All these guys get their data usually from the exchanges, and we already saw last week that that uh, who are they getting it from? NYSE, ARCA, I think. No, IEX was IEX, giving them yeah. bad was giving them bad data. So I don't know what the excuse of the week this week is going to be, but clearly something is incorrect. Yep, or it's crime sure. or it's crime and manipulation What's crime? Yeah, right. it's one or the other guys you got to choose <laughs> peter anderson says don't forget sunday is national cinema day you can go to the movie any amc for three bucks don't forget that guys yeah great point thanks peter for reminding and us and don't forget you know buy a popcorn and buy one for the homeless guy outside because that really helps amc's bottom line and you're doing a good deed for humanity buy one for everyone in the parking lot yeah, yeah absolutely. just go hand them out <laughs> let's get let's get let's get profitable right uh uh let's see clark said oh that's that's what clark was asking about he was asking about the wef clark said <laughs> do we think that hold on <laughs> have it and then it all of a sudden it disappears from me i don't understand why it's doing this to me clark hold on uh uh, something about the world economy. Hammer, by the way, Hammer, thank you, man. Appreciate you, brother. Hammer says, Clark, I'm getting to your question. Don't worry. Hammer says, just check out the Save Billy video from Phil for Real, and it will be explain everything. Happy birthday, Mass. Hammer, thank you, man. Appreciate you. Thanks very much. And, yeah, we've been sending people all week to Phil's channel to go watch that. Okay, here we go. Sorry, Clark. And thank you, by the way, for that for that chat. Very much. Thanks, Amber. Clark says, so if Charles Schwab and the World Economic Forum want to take over the world's the whole world's economies, why don't they just destroy our economy right now? What are they waiting on? Uh, I think they're doing a pretty good job of it right now, Clark. I would say. I don't know. The economy is looking pretty destroyed right now to me. It's looking a lot worse than it did two years ago, that's for sure. That's for sure. Someone asked, how did I survive the uh, Great Depression of 1929? You know, if it wasn't for the <laughs> for the Hoover Dam and all of the other great works projects, we definitely would have starved. I mean, thank God. Thank God the government came through with some of these projects. Seriously. I, you know, I, I leveraged up on my experience building the railroads. <laughs> the transcontinental, right? Yes. You were around before that. Andrew says you see Maverick and IMAX for three bucks on Saturday. There you go. Is that it's, that goes for IMAX theaters too? Oh, I didn't know that. I'm gonna have to get over there. See that Space Cowboy. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. Uh, Peter says it's Klaus Schwab. That's right. 
David says he liked Class. the fanny pack song. <laughs> Sleepy says there'll be civil uprising if that happened. I agree with you, Sleepy. There will be led by the Massalorian. <laughs> the uprising. <laughs> the rebellion starts today. Uh, uh, I, I, I want to. I just. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Presley Gamer so, says people have been screaming, "We're going to make millions." Since I bought AMC 17 months ago, uh, I was just for fun going through the Bed Bath and Beyond uh, chat in Weeble this morning after it dropped from like what 13 to nine dollars. Yep, on the dilution and the closing of stores and laying off. You know, da 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 da. We, we all know now exactly why Ryan Cohen sold, right? But there were people right. literally in the comments saying, guys, keep buying. It's going to a thousand soon. <laughs> like, what What the fuck? What are you kind talking about? What What kind of crap Based off rocks what? are you smoking? Right. I mean, Based off that, what? Is, that is definitely a company in trouble, right? At least yeah. AMC, is, AMC is showing pro positive progress on their numbers. Yes. And so are the, the global box office numbers. But yeah. how can you... And I, I see that nonsense every day in every ticker. This, you know, it's going to a million. Uh, ENDP is going to be the next HKD. It's going from 13 cents to a thousand dollars. Just load up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's, there's hypesters in every freaking ticker, you guys. But what I want to help you do is sift through all of that and have reasonable price targets and not bag hold by listening to people telling you a million bucks. I'm sorry I wasn't here in January to June of 2021. I would have been telling you the same shit because I sold all of my call options in that run up to 72 and made a mint. A hell no, yeah. I ain't listened to a, I'm not listening to a couple 20 year olds tell me to, to hold cause it's going to a hundred bucks or a thousand. I was ringing that cash register. And it pissed me yeah. off, pissed me off enough in July to turn on the camera that people were still talking that smack. But I do think that there are still enough people interested in this play and that the fundamentals of the whole movie theater situation has changed, that this is going to be another play, but not to a million bucks. No, not going to happen. No, no. Uh, Yuka. Yeah, I see some people saying in the chat that Yuka, I, there's, there's really no words, Yuka, right? I just, uh, words can't really sum it up, but I'll be sending you an email. Don't worry about that. Uh, let's see. Someone said they went to go see the new Dragon Balls, Dragon Ball Z movie. Yeah, we're waiting for, uh, we're waiting for some movies to come, right? We do have some good movies coming in the pipeline, guys. Just, this is going to be a rough quarter. I think we all just need to prepare for that and understand <laughs> that that earnings call is not going to be a great day. Okay. The sooner we all get along and, <laughs> and understand that the much easier we'll get, <laughs> we'll get through this. And Pam just said, Yuka is my new sugar daddy, man. There were people in here looking at you guys earlier. Yuka, you're missing out. <laughs> we had some people looking for a sugar daddy. Uh, Larry M wants yeah, to know my, my Larry wants to know my blood type, and now we're really getting personal. Is it because of the lizard blood type comment? Is... My blood oh, type maybe. is cold blooded. It's cold blooded. I mean, what more do you need to know? <laughs> reptilian blood runs cold. Yes. Runs cold. It's reptilian <laughs> slash vampire <laughs> blood. Mm, yes, yes, yes. Uh, Tully says the New World Order has failed already. Have no fear. I hope so, Tully. I hope so. What are, Adrian, when Diaz Discord saying, mass? Uh, <laughs> what, yeah. Diaz is asking me if I can send him a DNA sample. What the fuck? I'm just fucking with you. I didn't say that. <laughs> I'm like, what are you talking about? So, Adrian, <laughs> you'll have to ask Pam. I told what happened with Discord. So I'll have to catch you up. But uh, something legit happened. Pam will have to fill you in. I, I haven't mentioned any of it. Uh, let's see. Are, are you on discord by the way now? So since the, since the, got the new phone, the one that went to the bottom of the lake that day, I haven't got back on discord. No, 
I have just oh, okay. downloaded it. I need to get the information uh, to log into it. I can't. I don't remember the password and uh, the you know the information to log in. I think that's what let I still know, need right now. Let me know when you get back. In. When I get it up. Yeah, I just uh, spoke I, to Pam about I, this morning. I don't want to know when you get it up. Let me know when you're back into okay. Discord. Okay. Got it. Got it. Okay. But I'm from. Uh, and you can want a stool sample, Tony. <laughs> 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 you know, if you're if you're looking for extra money in some select cities, you can sell your stool sample, just like you know, donating blood. Get out! Did, no, I'm not joking. There, there is. I mean, we're gonna go really left field here, but there are some people that uh, they have a stool repopulation process for putting good bacteria back into people's bodies. Get the hell out of here. I'm not joking. <laughs> I'm not what? fucking joking. It's not available what? in my city. I've already looked, but <laughs> that's not a real thing. That, that is real. a real fucking thing. Yes. Repurposed human turds. Yes. You can, you can donate it for money. You gotta be kidding me. I'm Ape father out. just perked up. <laughs> Ape father's like, what? <laughs> is it available in the that's Atlantic twice city? That's two pennies a day for me. I can, <laughs> I can bring that register twice. Cha-ching. Oh, boy. I didn't realize that. Man, he's going to stop doing that with the toilet thing. It really bothers me when all of a sudden I'm I glad, flush and I'm not ready for it. I, I'm glad I stopped watching that channel. I, I, I hear about it in the Discord, but... Woo. His, the, his, no matter what, because he puts out so many videos, one of them hits my cue, no matter what. I mean, I looked today at my video that I put out last night. Do you know that it was 93% subscribed and 7% you know, unsubscribed on my video? You, you know you can un unsubscribe from some channels so they don't show up in your feed and then hit don't recommend channel? No, I didn't know that. You can hit that so that they won't yeah. recommend the videos? I didn't even yes. know that. I I do that a hundred mm. times a day on nonsense they put in my suggested videos. Interesting. Okay. Interesting. Fecal implants. BTW brand says it fixes your gut biome. There are more bacteria in your in you than cells in your body. Interesting. So that is real. Okay. It is real. Bio, yeah. bio butt juice. <laughs> the things you yeah, learn you on can... the things you learn on Seriously. late night stock chats i told you this is not all serious right but that is no. a real thing but we're not going to always cover stocks look i'm going <laughs> to give you guys ideas of how to make extra money there you go it doesn't always have to be in stock plays right it could just be in general right yes uh fulana fulana says this is the best late night show like after the nonsense of the romper room financial nonsense all day <laughs> and the kids are in bed grown folks talk <laughs> hey i appreciate that i know tony does too thank you faluna faluna we just try to keep it real right that's it you know, we got a lot of money in this play i know a lot of you guys do so we're gonna keep doing that um, um Joe, I saw that. I, was, I wasn't going to say it. <laughs> Jordan says, I'm subscribed to Tim Pool and his show never, ever shows up. Have to search every night. YouTube is gihi. Yeah, agreed. Uh, well, that I, Tony's live stream from this afternoon didn't show up on my queue. And we collab together. So, you know, it's just, it's hit or miss times. But yeah, don't rank him in channel. I didn't know about that. I will definitely be taking advantage of that. Uh, Jana wants to know what the stool requirements are, Tony. I have no Find idea. <laughs> She's going to give Kevin ideas. $10 says tomorrow he's offering a scat pack course. <laughs> <laughs> says Isaiah Crescent. Sign up. Hey, guys, look, if you want the, if you want the details on the fecal donation, you know, not the fecal donation, the, the fecal, you know, making extra money with fecal samples, be sure and join my Patreon. <laughs> It's only $69 a month. I will give you all the details about fecal. I, I don't even know where I'm going. Fecal with this. matter I'm fucking joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. We're rehypothecating human turds now. That's great. <laughs> awesome. Uh, yeah, sounds yeah, like I, a shitty deal. <laughs> yeah, someone just said that. So that sounds shitty, Tony. <clears throat> Uh, let's see. Let's see. 
Only the floor. Evening. How you doing tonight? Sounds like a shitty. Shit, sounds like a shitty deal, Tony. Uh, how can the three? How can eight be on the threshold list with a T zero settlement? Says Eric Everett. I That's haven't. Uh, I, I don't know about you, Massalorum, but I haven't had time to completely validate the T plus zero thing. I, I'm aware of it. I've looked into it for about five I know minutes. That, that's and then the I got, rumor. I got busy doing something else, so I, I can't comment on something I haven't looked into. I'll look into that. It's a good question. I, I started to look into it, and then it, it, it became difficult, and I got bored. And That happens. Or frustration sets in. And then take the other road. I mean, if... <laughs> so if that's going to be a shitty time. If you guys, if you guys knew the number of wild ass theories that people send me to investigate every day i gotta you know if i can't find something on it real quick and dirty a lot of times i'm like well yeah. that, that's gonna have that's gonna have to wait for the weekend <laughs> yeah right right I rambo three thank you very much man you did i did look yeah but it, it was not it's not something i could find readily <laughs> okay uh owning the float so i don't have a p.o box i do have a box here that i can get stuff sent to actually at my building so if you want to send me a dm on twitter because i do have an actual uh kind of like a a box here that i that's for my place uh that i can receive packages in so send me a dm on twitter I'll put my Twitter info up on the uh, in the info here. Uh, Uka Frida says, only the to collect stool samples. <laughs> Stop asking questions. <laughs> Email <laughs> to get stool samples to market here. <clears throat> uh, they put my shit into you so you can be healthier. <laughs> says, says Michael. That's a good one. That's a good one. Oh, no, that was millions that said that. Um, uh, fecal reassignment. We on the surgery. float. Jeez. We, if you if you on the float, you need to eat more fiber. That's all I'm saying. Yes, yes, yes. Diaz, I haven't I haven't gotten the shirts yet. Do you know how long right now to get shirts? They're saying it's going to be six to eight weeks before I'd even be able to get them. And that was two weeks ago when I tried uh, to get them done. I was trying to get fifty, just fifty shirts done. And they don't want to even do it for that small of a thing. And they're like, well, they're trying to understand what I was doing. I'm like, listen, I'm like, I'm not making a store for people to be able to buy them. I'm like, I'm just getting them. I'm buying them myself to give out to people. I'm like, it's not a store. I'm not trying to open a store on this. They're like, oh, if you're I, only looking for 50, it's going to be a while. I'm like, oh, okay. I, I have a website I can send you where I, I order shirts for some of my other businesses where I just get like four. Oh, really? Uh, yeah, I'll send you the link. It's reasonable price. Oh, please do that. Yeah, I just wanted to get them to the mods right now. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't I'll send that. it to you. I, I'm trying to find something that's small like that that I can just get like a dozen for right now. Yeah. Just because times are tight right now. I mean, it is what it is. You know. Yep. It is what it is. This this move was expensive. It was not cheap. <clears throat> um, Tony, are you planning on selling any ape if it hits twenty dollars? Yeah, I was wondering about that. Uh, as I was wondering about a lot of things on my lunch break today, wasn't I? I was wondering, would I sell Ape if it doubled in price? Right, I've got, I've got my extra Ape, I'll call it, that I've been adding, and then I've got my Ape that I was handed as the split. Uh, I, I'm, I'm thinking about that. What do you guys think I should do? I was thinking that very question, like if, if Ape, if my average price on Ape that I've been buying in the last week is six bucks. And for some reason it ran to 12 or 15. Should I sell that portion and keep all the rest? What would you guys do? Or do I just hold it all till the Moas? I mean, I know you're not talking to me. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm, I'm asking the audience. You know what I'm doing. Clearly, clearly I'm not going to answer the question. But I want the audience to say, what right. would you do? I don't, I honestly don't know. I didn't have an answer, but I did think about it. Diaz says, don't answer that, Tony. 
<laughs> the smiley faces. The smiley faces. T, I'm going to write this down so I don't forget, but can you, if I do forget, remind me about those shirts. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to, so I didn't know uh, you were ordering shirts. I'm going to, I'm going to order some shot glasses to give away. There you go. There you go. That's a good idea. Shot yeah, glasses is a good that, idea. That, that's how we do it here. We, I need, I need more people besides me drinking out of Tony DeNaro shot glasses. And we're that's not true. selling shit. We're going to give them away. Yeah, this is going to be just give out. So <laughs> me and Tony yes. have already made a decision on this. I'm not going to be selling anything. It's going to be give outs. Uh, let's see. Everyone says they're holding till it's reasonable. Trust me, I'm not selling. Yeah, and you guys know where me and Tony are on this. Until we see something fundamentally crumble, we're not getting out of this play. Too much invested, too much time. Um, thought you were going to rick off your Hulkamania shirt off, says Nuck to Tony. It yeah, what are you to going to do that, Tony? It, it needed to go over 50 bucks. All right, we didn't even come close. All right. No. <laughs> oh, boy. It, uh, the the, the, uh, let's the see. shirt and the the bandana, everything over here on the shelf, ready to go at a moment's notice. So, yep, yep, yep. Um, so someone asked about me what I'm doing as far as it goes. So, I just cleared out some of my. I talked to Tony about this the other day because I crypto isn't moving anywhere for the next uh four to six weeks. I don't think we're gonna see any huge moves in crypto. So, I liquidated some of my crypto positions so I could get back in to buy some more APE. Hopefully it's going to come down a little more and I can pick some up before the week is out. I'm assuming by Friday um, I'll be ready to pull the trigger on that. But yeah, I just liquidated some of uh, actually almost my whole Coinbase position. I'm just keeping BlockFi now uh, for my crypto. Um, someone said they just tweeted me at Mass Lorian. Okay, owning the float. Cool. I will check my DMs when we get off here. Uh, someone asked about the thresholds list for APE. Yes, that's correct. We've definitely verified that they are on the thresholds list right now. Rod says markets are manipulated. Let's donate to AMC's debt outside of the market by getting AA to make a debt donation page. You know, they're not the first person uh, that's brought that up, Rod. Thanks, bro. Appreciate it. You going to bed? No, not yet. All right. Um, <laughs> okay. Uh, how do we know if AA is selling ape, Honey Horse says? Uh, we I, we would see, if we were starting to see ape trickle into the market, we would, we would be able to say, see that with the price action. 100%. It depends on how many shares, though, for sure. So are we shorting Kevin's ATF, says Phineas, and buying and holding AMC? That sounds like a plan, Phineas. Sounds like a plan. Yeah, just so you guys know, as far as I'm concerned, I haven't sold any of my APRA AMC yet. Both the positions I'm still just holding. I want the market to figure out where it's headed, and I want to the both tickers to figure it out where they're headed. They're still, I think, trying to find themselves right now. And in a down market, that's going to take a little longer, I think, than normal. Uh, Push it in with powder. Says, thank you. I go to sleep now. Have a good night, my friend. Have a good night, my friend. T, you could cover me for a sec. Yeah. CB is asking, what is the catalyst for Highcroft mining? The next catalyst oh, good one. for Highcroft is going to be this exploration drilling that they're doing right now. So, uh, as we have discussed here many times, Highcroft needs to get some actual ore out of the ground. But in the, and that's a couple years away. But in the meantime, with this drilling exploration program that they're doing, and if you haven't seen the Diane Garrett interview on Pantheon or Boss Blunt's channel, go watch that. I actually learned a lot by listening to that interview, if, if they find some new ore that is easily mineable, just by virtue of making a press release on that, that could send Highcroft's 
stock up. So I am uh, judiciously adding to my Highcroft position. I bought some at a buck, as you know. I added some a day or two ago at 73 cents. Uh, and some of people in my Discord bought at 73 cents and then sold today uh, a day later for 15% gain in a day. So uh, I said, I, I told the Discord I'm holding for long term because, you know, 15% on the, the small amount of Highcroft that I own was not really compelling for me to sell. If I had 10,000 shares, that might be different. <clears throat> but, uh, I'll be adding Highcroft on any dips. My next buy-in point seems that I'm in at $1.73. If there's no good news, I'll buy again at 50 cents. And then hope that there's good news and then a pop to two, three, four, five dollars Speculative play. That's the only way I look at it right now. And also long-term play. I'm not parking a bunch of money in Highcroft with unrealistic expectations. I'm putting a small amount as a gambling play that some good news happens. And you get a, enough of those out there and some of them hit and they hit big. They make up for the ones that don't work out. So that's how I'm viewing Highcroft. Just real talk. Uh, and I hope that I hope that Highcroft hits because the their stock price directly transfers to AMC's financial statement. So, if Highcroft were to run up from uh, seventy what eighty cents to two or three four bucks five bucks six bucks, that would be a massive earnings per share boost for AMC. Talk about unknown. Catalyst? Can we get an unknown catalyst in the house? Hello? That would be massive for AMC because that, due to the way they calculate fair value and transfer that over to the income statement, that would be huge for any quarter that that happens on AMC if the price is high at the end of a quarter. Right now, obviously, the price of Highcroft going down is weighing us down. But if they find some ore, look out, baby. Hedgies are fucked. Now, you guys know I've been very real with you since March. I'm, I'm not the most bullish Highcroft person. <clears throat> but if they find something and understanding how... It translates into AMC's earnings. It would, without a doubt, be a big deal. Diaz says, are you in the think tank? Are you asking me, Diaz? Or are you asking someone in the chat? BTW says, Highcroft can't get any easy process gold ore the ore they have is only mineable chemically right right i've i've done a, a very realistic due diligence on highcroft and it wasn't nobody liked me i can tell you that because i was telling people do not fucking pay three dollars for highcroft but they did it anyways and they you know trolled me on twitter because i was this being spring. a realist they trolled me on Twitter because I was being a realist, but I'm like, look, I'm not even considering Highcroft till it drops below a dollar because I read all the reports. That's yeah. If you read them, that was common sense. I'm not going to be sucked into some Adam Aaron, Diane Garrett hype when the reports are all there to read. But I will buy it when it's cheap, a buck, 50 cents, 27 cents. That, that's worth a gamble. I like a little gamble. Ooh, yeah. he's a gambler. Yeah, a little gamble. gamble. A little gamble. Yeah. Just nothing crazy, right? Right, right. Nothing crazy. David says, if Highcroft finds lithium or more gold on property, it will go well. Yeah, Dave, we just need that. We need that find. We need to hit that vein. 
<laughs> yeah, trying to drink already. my beer and it's not even open. Man. Uh, Liz, Tony is in Austin, not Houston. Uh, Curtis says, can they convert AMC to Ape? Can they convert AMC to Ape, kill AMC ticker in the shorts? No. No. With the shorts attached to it, says Chris. No, Curtis. Uh, will we see an SEC filings if AAA sells more Ape? Now, yes, that would show up on the filing, right, Tony? What was the question? If, uh, hold on. If... AA sells more ape. Will we see it on an SEC filing? He hasn't sold Auto it. Codes. You mean like if he if he issues dilution? Yes. Would we see it? Yes. 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 I mean, according according to the FAQ that 8K that they released a week or so ago. Yep. He said that they will comply with any necessary SEC you know filing requirements. So okay. I, I was joking. I was joking like that's a that's a definite maybe. If they're required to file, they will. Uh, does that mean we'll get advance notice, notice the day of, notice the next day like Ryan Cohen did? I don't know. I can't tell you. I haven't right. studied it enough to know what their regulatory requirements are. And there's many ways they could sell APE, right? As we talked about earlier, direct to the market offering, private offering, sell it to a lender. I don't know. I haven't walked through all those scenarios, but I am certain at some point, if he issues dilution, we will be notified. For sure. Yep. Yes, yes that's true. Uh, uh, let's see. San Diego Matt wants to know, how long have you hold your longest stock for, Tony? How long is your longest hold on a stock? Shit. Uh, you know, normally when I'm buying a stock, I, I don't even know. I, I don't have anything that I had in the in the 1930s. I can tell you that. <laughs> <laughs> and before the depression, <laughs> when I buy it, I, I'm going to be straight up. When I buy a stock, when I buy it, I already have a price target that I'm going to sell it at. Right. Like when That's I bought to do it. When I bought Tesla at five or six hundred, I already knew that you know, I was going to sell it into any run up over 900 bucks. And that doesn't mean that I'm bearish on Tesla. That just means that I thought that 1200 was overvalued. Yeah. I'll, yeah. I'll come back and buy it on a dip. That is investing, yeah. right? I heard someone yeah. on TV talking about this and I see people talking about it in the comments. Like what you want to do is buy a stock when you think it's undervalued and sell it when you think it's overvalued to the next guy who thinks it's undervalued. Does that make sense? <laughs> you want to find that? Uh, uh, there's always going to be someone more bullish than you. But if you are have done your real due diligence and that guy's all hyped up at, a, you know, he thinks Tesla at 1200 is a great deal because it's going to be the biggest company in the world. Then sell it to him and then wait for it to drop back down to 600 and buy it again. Buy back that in. is part of. Yeah, that is part of being a, a smart investor. So, uh, no, I don't. I don't have any stocks that I owned years ago. I don't trade that way. Right. Yeah, I mean, I I was telling Tony the other day on Friday, I had to liquidate some stuff that I've been holding on to that's just doing nothing for me. And at some point, you just got to make the decision, right? Uh, which way am I going to go with this trade? Can't hold it forever. And uh, right now. There are some plays out there where you could be putting your money and uh, there's some other stocks I want to buy, right? I want to buy this a APE while it's down low right now. Uh, Sufjan in the house. What's up, Sufjan? Yes. I, I do remember. I, I remember when, I remember when Chipotle launched and I was like, nah, I'm not going to invest in a burrito company. What oh God, I wish dumb. I had. What a fucking I dumbass. I remember when the Amazon The first time I watched, ate there, I should have known better. <laughs> Yep. I remember when Amazon launched. And I was like, yeah. With a book company? Online bookstore? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No way. Burritos. I mean, I, I should have I should have known the first time I ate Chipotle that it was gonna do just fine. I've made I, a lot the of first meal I have was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yep. Pam, thank you, hon. Have a good night. Pamela is leaving the chat. One of our mods. Good night, have a Pam. Good night, Pam. 
Pam, I'll talk to you tomorrow. Uh, Tony, did you short Alex? Yeah, people are looking for Alex in the chat. <laughs> did you short after Alex? That, you after that to Lou comment, and then she, I mean, it's being picked up on other channels. I know. It's being broadcast on other people's videos. What is going on? <laughs> She's in the doghouse. We'll get her back on soon, right? <laughs> yeah, she'll be back. AMC cost to borrow now at 350 Ten percent says G money. How is ape on the thrush list already? What does it actually expose says Matt. So Matt, we tried to talk about this a little earlier, right? That it really it doesn't mean much. I mean, we've seen it many times AMC has been on the threshold list before, right? T. I don't remember how many times someone said it's only been on the threshold list one time. I don't remember because really? I just don't. Someone in the chat was saying that. I don't remember. They said the okay. last time AMC was on the threshold list, we ran a 72. It seems to me, in my memory, you guys can correct me, that we've been on the threshold list more than one time since $72. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. <clears throat> uh, let's but see. What, what, does, what does it expose? It means that uh, somebody's not showing up with the shares. That's what it exposes. Right. Settlement is not happening. Right. 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 We know there's not settlement going on. Exactly. <clears throat> Natalie, no problem. Says, I was sorry behind I was on the video. Clark says, Julie wants to see Lou and his bra again. Oh, you on still the got thumbnail. The, you, you still got those photos? <laughs> I got those photos. Yes. <laughs> They're a little doctored, but I got them. Uh, Otto says, last time was June 21st, 2021, per Ortex. Thank you, Otto. That was the last time. I'm trying to think. June 3rd, I know, was our run-up. June 21st, I want to say we were probably still in the high 50s that time. YouTube is about to About short me. I almost hit the vape on camera. Oh, yeah. I was going to say, hit that. Uh, I, I almost piece. did. Yeah. <laughs> I thought I hit the button. I saw you I step away. <laughs> I saw you there step we away. Go. And there you go. There we go. William Hans says, hi from North Korea. How are you on the internet right now, William? <laughs> There's no internet in North Korea. Come on. You mean South Korea? Uh, yeah, you guys remember to hit the like when you come in. That would be great. I keep forgetting to mention that, but that would be great. Angelina says, Michelle H. has a question. All right, let's not leave Michelle behind. No woman right, left Michelle, behind, Michelle. <clears throat> What is the end yeah, of the I'd day? Ch- what is the end of the day for this play? Oh, that's a good question. Uh, I, I'm going <laughs> to keep on saying what I've what I <laughs> what I've been saying, Michelle. This play has converted for me into uh, this is not an overnight second short squeeze play, but the fundamentals have drastically changed from where we were a year ago when I bought this stock in a in a environment where there were no movies being shown and the company was bleeding, they're still bleeding, but they're, they're crawling out of the grave. So the big issue we got to tackle is the debt and that there's a plan in place for that. Now with ape, you can like it or not like it. If you don't like it, then I would sell. And if you like the company and you, you think that paying off the debt can improve the financials and maybe stay in this play, that is up to you. In the meantime, you know, while I'm waiting on that, because everything I invest in is a long-term play, you know, I have some gambling plays. This started as a gambling play. It's turned into a long-term play. And while I'm waiting now, I'm hoping for some unknown catalyst or that any one of these crazy theories out there might be true, but I'm not going to talk about the crazy theories. If they happen, they happen. I'm focusing... The direction of my channel on this play into improving fundamentals and paying off the debt. Yeah. Mission bottom line. And sorry to keep you up. Apologize. Didn't mean to uh, miss your comment or your question, but this goes by really fast here, just so you know. Natalie says, uh, have I been let's... blocked? You have not been blocked, Natalie, no. If we missed your no. question, feel no. free to retype it. Yep. 
No one should be getting uh, blocked. I had the best shrimp chimichanga today. Uh, let's see. David says AMC healthy will at least net you thirty dollars a share. Yeah, David. That's uh last time we saw those prices back in twenty eighteen. We need to get those fundamentals up, right? But they're getting there. They're getting there. Um, AMC is no longer the play we got into, says William. That's that. <laughs> that's the truth, right? That's the truth. It's the play we are now uh, hitched to for good. <laughs> One way or the other, ride or die, right? No problem. Peace Natalie. Love. I got, I got a question from Peace Love. Is it possible for Adam Aaron to do a one for four split on Ape? I mean, he, he already took preferred shares and divided them by 100 into uh, these depository receipts. Is it possible to split them from there one to four? I, I don't know, but I, I don't think that he would do that. I don't either. I, I, I have I seen see some companies. I have seen companies with depository receipts do splits on them. I have seen it. Yeah. It is possible. But Unlikely. he's also he's also got another we've got a what he what did he do? A billion? He he converted a billion preferred shares into apes. He's got four billion more if he needed them that he could uh, call into action. But I I don't think that Unless ape goes to a dollar and gets parked there, I don't see that happening. Yep. Agreed. Agreed. Local Urban says, in y'all honest opinion, what's a better savings account, ape or AMC? You know what? I, I'm not going to comment on that uh, just because, I, you know, I have both right now. I, I, I'm using both as my savings account right now. I'm sorry. I don't know who asked that. Um, but, Yeah. The humble hearts, mindful knowledge says, Mass, you need some rest now. You're one year older. Yeah, I know. I know. It's really going to catch up with me today. <laughs> really going to catch up with me this extra year now. Uh, let's see. I, if I, every I'm going to shareholder... re repeat for a local urban the comment that I, I said about the craps table on AMC and Ape. Yep. It's kind of like uh, for me, I'm, I'm buying Ape right now, not AMC, because it's cheaper. But I'm I'm kind of viewing it as like I'm putting money on the hard six, and hoping it hits. Okay. There's no guarantees, there right? I I can't tell you which one is better. There's no real charting that we can do on Ape, and it's a different animal than AMC, and it's got a lot of negative pressure right now. So I feel like it's going to have a a downtrend and then reach some level of uh, the symbiosis award. It's going to reach some level of parity. Or some level of normalcy, but maybe not in the short term. Right. So Might I want to. Buy, I'm buying it while it's cheap. I don't know if I'm going to be right. Don't copy me. Yes. Same here. That's why I didn't comment on it. Local. Local Urban says you were the best. Thanks for everything. Appreciate you, Local Urban. Happy birthday, Tom. Uh, only the. Uh, mass isn't a day over thirty nine. I Betcha. Oh, I wish, Angelina. I wish. Uh, did Tony just do Tai Chi with his hand? It was an attempt, I think, at Tai Chi, <laughs> Tony. It was an actual Tai Chi. <laughs> I wake up and do a couple hours of Tai Chi every morning. <laughs> do you? <laughs> no. That's how you stay so calm. I, I do uh, <clears throat> Tai Chi in the West Wing while I'm studying for my uh, doctorate in engineering. Yes. <laughs> that's like that's a pretty wild life you got <laughs> uh let's see um me too bro 1000 earlier and watched it bleed cash is bozeman good evening tonight how you doing s jackson i see don't forget the truth all up in the chat right now we are just about to turn over our three of the live stream Old Reddit DD last year when AMC was on the threshold of July in July of 2021. Yeah, so it's been a little bit, right? At least we know that. Someone said that Austin, this video was saying the cost of bar was 357% on AMC. Is that right, Tony? The max. I'm yeah. sorry, I don't have the or text in. Okay. The max. The average was like, right. what, do, what do we say? 37%, something like that. <clears throat> Yeah, something like that. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, those, I don't. Those I don't look at Max. Very, uh, I don't tricky. I don't talk no, about can't. Max. You can't. You can't. You can't look at the average. Yeah. What what people no, that talk no about point. the max will never. I've seen literally seen people post the max at four hundred percent and not comment on the men being two percent. So yeah, I, I only report the average. People are borrowing on the average. If you were right. going to go want to borrow some ape, and someone said, "Yeah, we got, we got some. It'll be four hundred percent." But you could go next door and get it for thirty-seven. Are you going to fucking borrow it for four hundred percent? No, four hundred percent. That's just somebody putting out the closed sign, like we don't got any. Don't right. bother us. Right. Nobody's going to come to that person. Shirley says, just came back from boxing class. You guys are still here. Sending birthday love at mass. Thank you, Shirley. Appreciate you. And uh, boxing class, that sounds fun. I'll, I'll do some boxing with you. What are the averages in June, in before the June run? What was the average in before the June run, says Nova on the Great. The what was the what? average? I don't know. In before the June run. AMC? The average cost to borrow? Borrow? Maybe, yeah. That must be right. Probably what he's asking. Yeah. I don't know. Can you look that up, T, on Ortex? Yeah. 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 Sorry. Yeah. I know you have it open. <laughs> I just know you have it right there. Yep. <clears throat> Jesse Hang says on. he's going deep sea fishing tomorrow. Jesse, you're in New Zealand, right? Up. Uh, squeeze tomorrow. What are you fishing for? Squeeze alert. Oh, squeeze tomorrow. <laughs> yes. It always happens. Look. The last squeeze happened when I was at my son's graduation. <laughs> 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 Always when you're not by your freaking computers when the squeeze happens. So right. <laughs> uh, thank this. Who was it? Jesse that said that? Yes. Jesse, you're a fine man. We appreciate your service. Hope you Hope have a I satellite right person. <laughs> uh, let's see. I can't stop Thanks. eating right now from the old gummy munchies. The sphere of God, seven, seven, seven. Man, that sounds good to me. <sighs> I am, I am, cannot wait for Chinese food tomorrow. Um, let's see. I would like to recommend devotion. Oh, I would like to recommend devotion. Early November. It's like a Top Gun f movie from World War II. Looked awesome. Plus, it has the hangman in it too. Says Dark Latin. Oh, that's something I'd be interested in if it's a World War II movie. Definitely. Definitely. Jesse says, my pleasure, lads. I'm on the sacrificial lamb. <laughs> uh, San Diego Laundromat says 37% is high. It is It is San Diego, but we've seen it a lot higher than that, right? I mean, Tony, we, we've seen it up real high on CTB with AMC, no? Yeah. In uh, the highest, I'm looking at the chart here. I can put it up on the screen if you want. Sure. Let's take a peek. This red line. Let me get rid of this. Yep. Now, this is a bunch of squeezed together data, so bear with me. But, uh, CB, back, have a good night. This was back in uh, December of. 2020 cost to borrow 252 percent that was bef right before the january run-up that's crazy right. Two yeah and then uh in the june run-up it was may 31st cost to borrow says 12 percent well big difference huh and look at the difference in price action. That's, that's why I report this data, but I don't obsess over it. Right. Right. Exactly. I would, I would much rather prefer a high, you know, most of the squeezes that I see on a weekly basis, they are in high cost to borrow, high short interest stocks. That's, that is factual. Yeah. But not every high cost to borrow, high short interest stock squeezes. If that, uh, if you follow what I'm saying, it's Correct. not a guarantee of anything. Nope. R what makes a stock squeeze is unrelenting 
buying pressure at the end of the day. And uh, like Barely Here is saying, also some gamma squeezing. We saw yes, that for sure. That, that is also helpful. Yep. 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 Uh, let's see. Angelina, I'm sure you could take me on. I'm not even not even worried about it. I'm sure Shirley could beat me in a boxing match too. Uh, let's see. Market hours in New Zealand are from 1 30 a.m till 8 a.m so i am no longer in danger of missing the squeeze have prices alarms on my phone that's the way to do it man that's the way to do it lima uniforms india sierra l u l l u i s luis says will threshold list do anything tomorrow keith we we've been talking about the threshold list all night here uh we'll see I wouldn't get your hopes up, guys, tomorrow with with the list too much. Just from past experience, that's all. That's all we're speaking on. Uh, Billy Billy says, let's see what phase six brings. Bring it on. I hope, uh, I hope a bunch of them are in trouble tomorrow. I do. I hope we see some uh, pressure on the shorts tomorrow. But really, the only, only way we're going to know is uh, at the end of the day. Andy K says, let's go Red Sox. There you go, Andy. Let's like to see. Angelina, you didn't say anything about boxing? Who was just saying they were boxing? Shirley. Sorry. Did did you uh, pull up Paul Hogan's question? No, but I can for you. Is it possible Paul Adam Aaron started Halt Hogan? Is it possible Adam Aaron started selling the ape when it first came out? I mean, <clears throat> it is possible, right? But according to the 8K that AMC released, they would take the necessary, they would follow the necessary SEC regulations regarding investor disclosures when they do additional dilution. So I I currently do not believe that he has sold any additional ape. And what do we have seen? Do you think we would have seen something if there if there was a, 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 a some ape coming out in the market? We would have seen a tremendous some downward pressure. Well, I mean, there has been downward think, pressure right? in the past couple of days, <laughs> but I mean, I mean even more. Not, it's just not trading enough, and we're in a we're in a market downturn week since last Friday. Right. It's just it, right. People want to like ignore the fact the entire market's cratering because of Powell last week and just assume, you know, Hey, let's throw Adam Aaron under the bus. He's obviously selling eight. No, it's probably just that people are selling shit off, especially risky investments. If yeah. you're a big institution or a, a mutual fund or pension fund and the market's going down, you're going to sell shit and ask questions later. They're not going right. to sit around and take a 40% loss on stuff. And have to explain that to people. You guys got to understand how big institutions work. We are the first, you know, with that airplane scene where they throw shit out the window, the extra weight. <laughs> we're we're we the, extra the extra weight. weight. <laughs> yes. We're getting the first out. thing getting thrown out of the window. But when Seriously. things pick back up, we'll also be the first thing bought back. That's just That's just the reality. It's not a bad thing. Welcome to yep. uh, uh, overvalued stock, Tesla. You know, yeah. a lot of stocks are in this category. All the Kathy Woods, Arc stocks. Yep, all those Arc investments, Arc, Arc X. Yep, all the space not, tech. Don't feel picked on. You're just you own one of those stocks. That's it. You're not being yeah. picked on. Yep. Uh, Fire King Thirty says, Master, you think that. AA has his shares DRS. I'm sure his <laughs> shares are uh, very nicely tied up and when exactly where they need to be. No, I don't believe that he has anything DRS. Probably not. By the way, uh, Phil For Real has see. a DRS song coming out soon. Oh yeah? Did he announce yeah, that? He was uh, he was sampling it on his live stream today. Oh nice. Okay. Okay. I'll have to check. I, w uh, I wish I could remember. Louis the chorus, says but no, all right. We'll we'll pull it. We'll, we'll we'll be playing it. I'm sure. I'm sure we'll be playing it. Uh, Luis says you guys are a match made in heaven. You think so, Lima? 
All right, that sounds good to me. Justine Jackson Hunter put out a video on Ape already being on the threshold list eight days into trading. Says Keith Finney. Yeah, Keith, we've been talking about that a little bit tonight, right? We've been talking about that. Uh, some interesting things going on with that. Uh, a lot of things, a lot of people feel like it doesn't matter. I think me and Tony are kind of on that agreement that uh, we've seen it before. This is nothing new. Um, but we'll see. Time will tell, right? Uh, Jana says, I love Phil's songs. Yeah, they're pretty good. They're, they get, the kid does a pretty good job with it. I, I, there's nothing I could come even close to that. Hey, close to uh, that. Le Lima, is your real name Luis? Yeah, I would think so, right? L-U-I-S? It looks like it. Right? If I was going, you know, Foxtrot Tango, I would spell it Luis with that. Uh, mass after Moas, we have to order real Chinese. Oh, I'm so down, Shirley. Good What's night. What's going on with the? What is going Appreciate on with you. the Chinese food tomorrow? By the way, I just I was one thing I wanted for my birthday Chinese food. I didn't get it today, <laughs> ah. so I'm getting it tomorrow. That's it. It's the one thing I wanted. <clears throat> the That's only thing awesome. I wanted was just give me some good Chinese food. Yeah, some aso sauce, some aso sauce. Aso. I'll be down for that. It's good stuff. Uh, sports investing and hobby says when these stocks squeeze, crypto would probably tank, don't we think? Uh, if they're using some of that, if they're using their crypto positions for rocket fuel for us, yeah. Yes. Yes, sir. That's my real name, says Lima Uniform India Sierra. Good thing, good thing. Uh, 24 The Money says, why is Cineworld not halted? MSM puts out a BS rumor of bankruptcy. Has Cineworld said we were going to up? Yeah, so 24 The Money, that's something interesting, Tony, I was looking at the other day. Because Cineworld actually hasn't come out and said, it's just a kind of a rumor right now still, right? They have a, nothing's official. The last time I read anything about Regal and Cineworld or whatever the fuck they're called was a week ago when that announcement came out. Right. But yeah, right. I mean, they, they said, they said they were investigating what bankruptcy proceedings or hiring a firm to talk right. about it or something. That's the last time I right. looked at it. Yeah. Yeah. That's the last time. Me too. Me too. Uh, Billy, Billy says mass, no disrespect, but Phil for real is far from a kid. Say kid. I think, I think he's just a little younger than me. He's gotta be at least 10 to 15 years. Uh, let's see. Jenna says AA wants to be a legend before he retires. He'll set up AMC to survive and make history with apes. Have faith. I think we're all keeping that faith, Jenna. We're in that. We're with you. We are. Adam Aaron, that. he had that. every excuse in the book to file bankruptcy in 2020. Yep. And he didn't do it. He didn't do it. So. All these people that hate on Adam Aaron, I I just don't see why not just make it easy. Why not just roll over and give up in 2020 if that was his right. end game? I I think he wants to go out a winner. If he's a yeah. real CEO like any of them that I've ever known, uh, he wants to have his name go down in history. Right. Not and not and be he's not be studied in, in business school as a failed executive. Right. Who on his last, his last mission failed where he brought every other company back to uh grace, you know, into good graces. The last thing he goes on, on he's taken out by the pandemic. I don't think he wants to go out like that. So, I mean, I, I could be wrong, but I mean, I've, I've known a couple of CEOs and most of them don't think is conspiracy level as everybody wants to make them out on Reddit and YouTube. Yeah. yeah. They, they are, they got to where they're at by, by taking chances and wanting to prove something to the world. Yep. And I, I, I yep. think that that's what he wants to do. Otherwise he could have easily filed bankruptcy. He almost was forced into yeah. it, but he figured out a fucking way out of it. Yep. He found the money to keep him afloat. And then we came on to hand. And uh, we've been working this thing out together since then. It's a two-way street. So, guys. 
a, a lot uh, of Mike CEOs, Vlogs I mean, they go down for Tony. A lot of CEOs but, go down fighting, right? They they end up losing the battle, but they all go down fighting. That's a common scenario where you take on Citadel. a bunch of debt. You're, you're trying to save your company, and in the end, it just didn't work out. But for Adam Aaron, uh, he he got a lifeline from the apes, and I think he's really fighting the hard battle. You, yeah. You can believe it or not. I don't care. That's just my opinion. I really think he wants to succeed. Uh, I think he's put a lot of time and energy into this play, into this uh, company, bringing it back from the dead. You see the uh, question there from Mike Vlogs from uh, you pair DTCC twenty twenty one. Yeah, that's that's a lot of regulations. I haven't looked at <laughs> I haven't looked at a lot of regulations recently. To be quite honest, I don't even remember what those are. Uh, I've done a lot of videos on regulations uh, I'm, I'm in the last year. But those don't those don't ring a bell just by looking at them. Yeah, I'm will, looking for uh, a four I'm, or a three, a ten. None of those look good. Exactly. <laughs> I'm going to take a screenshot of those for you, Mike, and look them up in the morning. Local uh, and the reason the reason that out. I stopped the reason that I stopped looking at regulations. I mean, not to be the the turd in the punch bowl. But most of the time when I'm looking into regulations, it's because people are overhyping them as uh, this is going to cause the MOAS and I've read the fucking regulation and it's not anything what they are saying it is. Right. And I just get right. tired of always being the person with common. Sorry. I, I always get tired <laughs> of being the, I always get tired of being the person that is looking at Master Lauren, help me out. How can I say that? <laughs> to, to do the dirty work? You hate being the bad guy? Yeah. <laughs> the, fall, the fall guy? <laughs> <laughs> I know that your name comes up in all these conversations for pushing IPOs, and yada, yada. And like, what channel are you guys watching? I don't understand. What channel are you guys watching? It's not the Tony I know. <laughs> oh, boy. All right. Uh, where are we at here? All right, so we're we're pulling up on three hours and twenty minutes. Well, I don't know what time you're planning on going till. I was gonna plan on going till one o'clock though. That's up to you. One a.m. Scarlet doesn't get home till like five or six a.m. So all I got to do is I don't have any plays running in the pre-market tomorrow. I'm good. Okay. All right. I'm gonna stay on definitely till one o'clock. I'm just gonna eat something after that. Even though I didn't get Chinese food, I have to eat something. Something. Uh, and Andrew says, sold my fundal finally last week. Uh, let's see. Guy Delcon says, if you are good at running a company, you have always have an ace in the hole. It saved my butt a few times. I think he's got his ace in the hole, right? It's ape. He does now. I mean, I bet he's been sweating yep. bullets for the last year. I, I, right, I often exactly. use that analogy of, uh, can you imagine going into work every day knowing you've got a $5 billion bill sitting in your mailbox? No, no, not fun. That can't be fun, right? <clears throat> can't be fun. Uh, Mike says the NSCC, NSCC regulation was to increase capital increase requirements. Capital requirements. Are you talking? I think he's talking about tomorrow. I think he's talking about the capital requirements for ISDA, right? The new well, margin I requirements. That, I can pull that one up real quick and just <laughs> see, says, if it, <laughs> see if it rings a bell. He says, finish your last beer, Tony. Ready to Scarlet comes through the door and then pretend you're asleep. <laughs> <laughs> It's funny because, like, I'm usually waking up for pre market about the time she's getting home. This new schedule is, we haven't worked it all out yet. Lima Uniform India Sierra says, Guys, get some sleep. I need you both sane and sober tomorrow. It's my birthday. Come on. I'm trying to stay up and get hammered. <laughs> what, what kind of lunatic are you spending your birthday with us? Ah, uh, there's nowhere I'd rather be. There were you beautiful people. 
<clears throat> don't worry, I'd rather be. I kind of even just forgot about it until a couple hours before we went on. <laughs> it's just another day to me. I had stuff to do this morning working on this Insta stuff. Uh, humble in the heart, mind, full of knowledge. Good night. Have a good night. Thanks for coming by. Much, much love, much love. All right, my man. I don't, know if I've, I don't know if I've looked into this NSCC 017 before. This is not, this uh, text is not looking familiar. I'll have to look at it when I'm uh, fresh on mental energy and not three beers in. I'm going to leave it up on my tabs here, though, so I can check it in the morning. I'm all I, ape, I will lead. repeat. All ape. I'm gonna. I'm gonna repeat what I said earlier. These, most of these institutions that we're worried about have had a year or two years or more sometimes to worry about these regulations, and so I, I just, I got over the, I got over the thought that any of them were ever going to catch any of them off guard. That's the nicest way that I could say it. Yeah. I think we we debunked that pretty early on last year, last uh, well this spring, right? When NSCC we went didn't, through, go, some uh, didn't go into, yeah, yeah. We went through so many regulations in the last year. Good lord! In fact, some of my worst earliest videos were talking about regulations. You want to see? You think I'm boring now? You should have seen me a year ago. Go watch some of those. Holy fuckers. smokes! Yeah, man. I you could need something even do to go to dreams. sleep to. <laughs> yeah, Massalorian is like, uh, Massalorian saw those videos. He's like, I will never fucking do a collab with, with this collab. Holy shit! I'm gonna have to give this guy some smelling salts right before we bring him on. <laughs> <laughs> Wake him up. <laughs> no, no, no. It's always I, been I, great. I bro. never, I, I didn't really know how bad it was until I made my son watch it. He's like, Dad, you need to. You need to up the energy right it up. a little bit. Yeah. Bring it up. Just I was like, all right, all right. I, I, I can agree with you. I, it, it's pretty awful. <laughs> I know. It's pretty awful. That's pretty cool. Though. I like that. Uh, me and Tendi's son now have the uh, same. That's pretty cool. It's Tendi's son today, right? Yep. Or was it 10, 15 a.m.? I think he said. He said the baby. He yeah. didn't say the yeah. sex. Yeah, he didn't say boy or girl. That's right. He didn't say. Why is the uh, lamp flashing our bag, Leo? That was from uh, our esteemed Mike Bl Mike Vlogs. Uh, yeah, if the super a, chat comes through. I have uh, I have YouTube hooked up to, what's it called? It's if then, if this, then that, IFTT. There, there's some, like some crazy magical internet shit you can do. If you guys do a super chat, it makes the lights flash. I'm going to hook up a disco light and some uh, fog machine sometime in the future, but I got to, <laughs> I'm not kidding. Machine. I'm not kidding. A fog machine. What to disappear yes, on I, screen? <laughs> no, just to like, you know, if it's a big super chat, probably just like blast me in the face. Oh, but, uh, but I got, okay. you know, I got, I got work shit. I need to buy first, like two monitors and another camera. That's all like down the road. We're going to, yeah, we're going to yeah. really uh, give uh, the smoke machine something can wait. What kind of fucking finance channel is this fool? He's got a fucking fog machine. He wears silly hats and drinks on camera. <laughs> only fog I want. <laughs> the only fog I know is coming out of my ears. I, I have a fog machine. I have a fog machine right down there on the table behind me that I have all disassembled. Do you really? It's, yes. It's kind of, it got clogged up because I didn't clean it out after Halloween. So I, okay. I was trying to figure out a way to make it work. And the other problem is you have to manually hit the on and off button. So it, it's not compatible with a internet trigger. Oh, right. You couldn't Bluetooth it or anything, right? Well, I mean, you can't trigger it from a super chat, but I'm going to figure something out in my, in my free time. When yeah, I'm not you need looking a remote into, or something. When I'm not looking into yeah. DTCC regulations, I'm trying to figure out how to trigger a fog machine from the internet. So if any of you wizards out there got a, got a solution, let me know. 
Let them know. And I'm I'm going to call Strobe it. Strobe lights too. Gonna, I'm saying. I, yes, absolutely. Don't think I haven't looked. <laughs> and the fog oh, machine nuts. is going to be called Robot Godzilla. You can fucking <laughs> believe it. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy that would be good if it just said robot Godzilla it was steam coming out everywhere fire <laughs> I saw robot I saw robot Godzilla the other day in the uh, grocery store I meant to tell you I have a video of it there was something zooming around the store it looked like a uh, hunchback animal but it was a robot and I think it was there to scan your prices for you you have that in your stores there in Texas Anyone else seen nope. that in the chat? It's like a robot that that dr drives around the uh, grocery store, and I I saw a guy in the checkout line on Twitter with like some robot standing right behind him. I thought it was oh, like really? checking him for. I thought he was like stealing some shit, and it was following <laughs> him around. There's a loss prevention officer. <laughs> yes, <laughs> a robot loss prevention officer. Stop <laughs> right there. Hold. <laughs> Halt. Halt, human. Oh, boy. <laughs> yeah. Stop. 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 AI. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, Tony, I think I was one of the first to call you low energy Tony, says Jeffrey Rocha, but you've come a long way. He certainly has. <laughs> it was, uh, what was his name? Uh, Jen Colado that gave me the official low energy name. Jen Colado? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, he was he was one How of my he first doing, haters. By the way? Have you talked to him at all? He he was one of my first haters. I think you know we're we're in a good place now, Jim Colado and I. Uh, okay. But uh, he meant it. He meant it in the most loving bromance way possible. Don't get jealous, Eric. But yeah, San I mean, Diego it, Laundromat says, uh, "Good." It it was a what you saying? It was a well it was a well earned nickname. I'm not going to deny it. You got to you got to admit Come when you're wrong. Way, you got please. to admit your mistakes to improve, right? <laughs> yes, yes. Uh Sidney Lundemat says, "Did the Fenway tour a couple of weeks ago? Can't believe it's 100 years old. Enjoyed your city. Had beers at Cheers." Sidney Lundemat, yeah, that's a great tour that they have at Fenway, huh? It is a cool place to go. Um uh, man, that's cool just here. San Diego I wish I could do a trip to your, your town. Can y'all do a video to reflect the threshold list and match those numbers to shares out on loan, says Michael Dismeyer. Video to reflect the threshold list and match those numbers to shares out on loan. Would those Read numbers that one match more up? What? I'm, I'm yeah. old. One more time, please. Can, can, that's all right. <laughs> can y'all do a video? To reflect the threshold list and match those numbers to shares out on loan. No. Those two numbers shouldn't not, match up. I, I mean, I, I'm, I could, but I'm not going to. I don't care about threshold list. Okay. It's it's yeah, a widely it's a wide, widely exaggerated stat data point data point yeah. Most people data and point. most people that are looking at threshold list are adding up weeks or months of data. I've seen people add up years. Look at this. There's five billion FTDs. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, this, yeah. Yeah, I just can't do it. Did you say okay. wait, did Coming you say back to FTDs this thing about or contacting? Did you say FTDs or threshold <laughs> list? Uh I said, well, he said. Uh, shares on a loan from the threshold list. Reflect the threshold list. Yeah, not oh, FTDs. All right, my bad. Just threshold list. Can you rewind and then? What were you saying? Cut, FTDs. Cut yeah, just cut, cut, cut. Time out. Yeah. Sorry. That's all right. Excuse, excuse me. Threshold list. All right, let's take two and action. <laughs> Yeah, that's a great idea. So threshold list. Let's talk about that, Mass. What do you think? Go ahead. No. Well, uh, those a friend in need is a friend indeed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thanks, Kamala. Am I the Polish president in this situation? <clears throat> a friend in need is a friend indeed. Thanks. That's a, what a great answer. <laughs> I got if all else friend. fails, go to that, right? Yeah, I got that for my friend Kamala. 
<laughs> Kamala. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, next wh- question. Wh- what was? It? Yeah, what was I just gonna? What was I just gonna look at? I did have something I was gonna pull up, and I forgot what it was. Now I'm just I'm getting confused because uh, you got a, something about the Fenway tour up on the screen. I know, I know. That's the problem. I gotta get that down. I gotta get that down. Uh, BW BTW brand says Andrew. It was literally eighteen percent a day ago. Those numbers are whatever they feel like they can ask for, probably including price hikes. Yeah, that number is going to fluctuate. What are we talking about? What about the Poland president? If yeah, if you missed it, you missed it. Uh, uh, yeah, CTB was at eighteen percent, and now it's up to what. 37, somewhere around there, they were saying 37%, 29.4. Highest has been the longest time, Andrew was saying. And then Clark was asking about contacting Adam Aaron to see if it was possible for shareholders. So I remember one of my subscribers was talking about that a year ago. Exactly. He had mentioned. This is what cracks <laughs> me up about the whole ape thing. People are so mad about ape and dilution and paying off the debt. And I'm like, literally, I know some of you motherfuckers complaining about it now were the ones that were tweeting at Amir and saying, can we donate to a fund to pay off the yeah. debt? I'm yeah, like, you are I ready remember. to do that, but you don't want dilution. From but you ape. won't invest in ape. Come on, man. Yep. 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 CC Villa says that right now. She's saying the same thing. Clark, just buy ape. That's what it's for. Yep. Right on, C. Right on, CC. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, a lot of smoke and mirrors, guys. A lot of smoke and mirrors. Uh, all right. So we just hit the 330 mark. I don't know about you, Tony, but I'm definitely going to go with something to eat. I only had it's two only, beers, but it's I not 330. It's only 1203. It's 103 where I am. But I got to be up in five hours. Um, What's your plans for tomorrow? Are you going to go live tomorrow, depending on how the market opens? Yeah, you know, I, I'm kind of taking the market in my time to see, like, if I'm live streaming all day and the market is bleeding out, am I really being a value add just sitting here entertaining people for six and a half hours? Or can I use that time to look into other tickers, look into regulations like the gentleman posted up here earlier a few minutes ago? or other, other stuff that is going on in the market. So, I mean, you guys need to let me know, but, uh, if, if I can't make money sitting in front of my computer, I don't by making money. I mean, trading other tickers, right? Because, because things are bleeding out, then, you know, why, what's the point of being on camera? I'm, I'm sitting here, but I also want to actually, try and make some money day trading. So a yeah. lot of it depends on when I wake up, what is going on in pre-market? What are the tickers? Are they moving? Are they, are there any good plays? Uh, is the market looking like all the futures are red? It's kind of like the, the calculus that I use. And if I, yeah. if I think I can entertain people while also making a little bit of extra money trading, I'm happy to sit here for six and a half hours you know, pee in my sock and not eat anything. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. If, uh, if need be, right. You know what I'm, you know what I'm saying? I don't take a break if it's a good day, but if it's a bad day, why, right. why sit here and subject myself to that? Yeah. And that goes for everyone. Why subject yourself to that? I don't say the same and... thing to the audience. I say the same thing to you guys. Like if it's a yeah. bad day, go do something more productive. Right. You don't need to trade right. every yep. day. If it's if it's not working for you, step away. Go do something with your family, with your yep. spouse, with your pet for to improve your health, to improve your education, to improve your mental health. Anything other than to get yourself more depressed because it's another red day in the market. So right now, this week, I'm just taking it day by day. The internet is working now. I've got 10x the speed I had yesterday. Or for the last year, for that matter. So that's um, huge. Yeah, I mean, we're I'm I'm good to go on the technical side. We'll just have to wait and see 
how the markets look tomorrow. Yep, for sure, for sure. Our, I'm going to read this question. Final question. How many followers on Twitter do I need and how many charts will I have to prove myself to you guys to be your go-to systematic trader? Seriously, though. Our guy, I'd say you'd have to contact me and Tony on DM or uh, email. I don't care about how many Twitter followers you have. I, I, I don't even promote my Twitter. I can't stand Twitter. Just use it for the is that uh, did um, is that NYSE Arca? Did it just become a sentient being? I believe so. When I, I think we're being communicated to by AI. <laughs> AI has reached out. I could definitely reach out. Reach out, Arca. It has nothing to do with Twitter followers, though. Yeah, just and, just DM uh, us. Jesse, D appreciate DM the us. Chinese food donation. Yeah, DM DM is the way. Jesse, thanks for the Chinese food donations. And uh, guys, to everyone tonight who donated uh, to either me or Tony, thank you so much. Uh, we did three and a half hours tonight. I know from my mods, I had Adrian tonight, Diaz, Liz Clayman, Pam the Trader, and Tell Dog were all uh, on the uh, mods tonight. Thank you all to you guys. I love you. And uh, especially Yuka Frida tonight. Yuka, thank you for the donations and the. Uh, you know, birthday chats. Appreciate you, man. Appreciate you very much. Tony, you got some people want to say hey to? I just want to let y'all know once Mass has gone, we're going to start playing some strip poker. So hanging out, crack a beer. Uh -oh. you know. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we've got all night. Are you staying on? Are you staying for a little bit? Around. I'm just oh, fucking with Just them. getting around? All right, don't mess with me. Don't make Alex me feel is on bad our way. Bad. Alex is on our way. Strip <laughs> poker is about to commence. <laughs> <laughs> it's still early in Texas. Oh boy. What? He's uh, he's playing he's playing strip poker with his daughter. <laughs> Did someone say that? No. Uh, right? I mean they were in the comments. Yeah. He's why does he have his daughter on a live stream? Oh, you God. freaks. Come on, you freaks. I know. Be serious. Lordy, Germany, Europe, Asia, wherever you are right now. Love all you guys. Thank you so much for everyone who stopped by. We appreciate you. Tony, love you, man. Thank you. You for are your, the your best. Time. Stay you emotionless. Are. Stay cold blooded. Don't let this shit get you down. You will get through it. There is a green day ahead in 2024. Yes. <laughs> 2024. <laughs> tomorrow, guys. Get some rest. We'll talk with you guys tomorrow. Thanks. Love you guys. Have a great night. Take care, guys. Thanks to the mods. Thanks to all the viewers, the subs. We love you, and I will yes. see you tomorrow. Good night.